Get ready, because we're echoing we live. Have feedback. Yes. We love feedback, but not that kind of feedback. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, it's Wednesday again. We missed last Friday, unfortunately. I was just too busy. Oh, life happens, man. It's, it does. I think it's, this is the time of year where everything just collides. God, just it butts it's, heads. Because everyone's and... trying to get ready before everyone goes on holidays, and then come January 1st, it's going to be just... Freedom. Correct, <laughs> Freedom. but we're all... So, so no. much room and so much time, but Which yeah. means all the more. Thank you all for coming out and yes. hanging out with us on a, on a Wednesday. Yeah, and it's, it's so near to the holidays. Yeah. Right, it's really rainy over here. It's miserable in Vancouver. Surprise, surprise. Wet um, coast of uh, Canada and U.S., it's so, raining. So this is the perfect day to hunker down and That's play right. some video games. Get inside, like... warm up by the fire or blanket that's right turn on the old systems and grab and, a joystick and there's so many people it's there like there are to mr fix wade rain s ramirez atari, uh, spot. atari spot it's like it's ground trooper, trooper mr fix yeah um, yeah lots of people in the chat thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us and, uh, on Wednesday. And Ramirez says that he's been waiting for this all day and that, he, oh. uh, that he's recovering from pneumonia. I hope that you're feeling better. Pneumonia is not a nice thing no, to be experiencing. And, and I'm happy that you kind of get to cuddle up and, yeah. and hopefully you feel a little bit better. It's a good shirt, man. Well, thank you very much. Always... <laughs> it's a fake retro, fake worn shirt. I usually don't like shirts that look like they're supposed to be from back in the day yeah. but they're not and they're faking it but there's no other shirt like this so i thought i'll have to give in and wear the fake worn shirt and it's like and we got nano chess oh as well. welcome nano I've chess never heard, i've never heard that name before you may have not but you may have he is the developer of one of the games tonight oh, where they're going to be playing aardvark aardvark it's an update to aardvark we did play it before it's the little ants. And Eater. That's a That's... cool one. I like that one a yeah. lot. So he's and... done a lot of updates to it. So and we're going to take another look at it. Nano Chess, do you play chess? Uh-oh. Because I you love gonna chess. get into this? Um, no, play... no. He plays Nano Chess. Does Tiny he? little... I don't know. I was... Tiny... <laughs> you baited me so well. Tiny I was like, little chess I was like how are we going to do it? So let us know if you're a chess player. I love chess. Yeah. Um, so today... Oh, I want to say we're <laughs> broadcasting at 60 frames a second. So if you're Ooh. not watching at 60 frames, you better be. Because you're going to miss out on all the action because some of these games are 60 frames a second he wrote chess oh he must be an ancient one <laughs> thousands like, of years yeah, old they, you know, coming from wrote, history forward into you know, our time in the, in the and now he makes video games that's right <laughs> well it makes good, sense if you, you know. made chess if you created chess yeah the atari 2600 would be very uh <laughs> you'd be drawn towards that yes yeah, for but, sure but i supposed to saying that so i don't know what that means <laughs> well, well, let us know <laughs> yes <laughs> artvark is an insta buy it is amazing i played only a little bit and i really liked it it's one of the cooler i remember yeah. it was a hard game to play at first because i was like it what is, is happening <laughs> and then as soon on? as I, I feel like there's a lot of atari, atari 2600 homebrew games that are like that we're just like what is going on? and then all of a sudden like, this is the best thing i've ever done <laughs> and it's like a weird Weird, yeah like big switch you know once you catch up and you kind of start understanding it makes a lot more sense we're gonna play four games tonight four unlike uh, last week where we played one yeah it's so kind it's, of a switch a and switch. that one took uh took all of our time out because i knew we would be using all of our time yes. for playing because it was an rpg game hell yeah. So yeah um we're gonna be playing a brand new game uh castle of the cryptid by Ooh, buckaroo anything with castle in the title oh yeah it's always good in <laughs> Um, Aardvark, a demo update by Nano Chess, who is in the house. Uh, Lost Dungeon Quest Apshai, oh, work in progress in. by Justin W. Gibson. And the Scramble Game by Champ Games. Oh, who just Champ, cranks man. Cranks out the Holy game. So, John cow. Shampo made this. We did play the sequel to this before. I don't know if you... I don't, I don't think, think did. I did. I'm looking at the back sort yeah, of. Yeah, very arcadey. Some... Um, a side-scrolling shooter. Cool. Well, we'll discover <clears throat> when we get there. We exactly. Can, can, so this is the retail boxed copy that I have had for a while, but I haven't got around to playing. Yeah. We're going to play that tonight. <clears throat> um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. A Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Check, Ground Trooper, I is supposed to Jeffrey, 2123, Mr. Fixer's in there, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. 
Maybe. And uh, I supposed to. It makes a did difference. Help. Thank you all so much. You I know? supposed to help Don Scramble. Did he? Yeah. Oh, man. So he's he did the sound and the this music. For I that. supposed is the. He's okay, in on he's everything. He's a grounding force. He is in a lot of areas. He provides what we hear in all That's these right. games. And the the sonic element is really really key to pretty much it almost is. most things we do. Yeah. Try playing a game without sound, and you're lost on a lot of games because you right. need that feedback. So that's a really important component of a, games and movies. And a lot of things. And music. To, today <laughs> I was um, working at my job and we're digitizing old magnetic tapes. Oh. So there's a BBC archive and so some oh. of them were terrible. Oh. But it's really interesting because, I mean, sonically, it, it tells you something. It was like listening to a 70s movie. We had these wind <laughs> and all this stuff. It's very, oh. It was really fun because you're digitizing magnetic tapes. So I was, I was doing that a little bit today, but it's just a reminder again from like just the I supposed to area yeah. that like sound is such a big part of the way we, we, we go in and it's really hard to even, you can't even describe it when the, you have the right sound to a movie or a game or yeah. anything. It just clicks. Hell yeah. It just make, it's just right. And we're so you tuned, know? right? In the music also for these 2600s I, games, I think bring you instantly back these computer generated files that are not that complicated no. but have such a language and a vocabulary it's pretty amazing it is and uh it's it it does bring you back like this the actual sounds yeah. of it. like i mean it can't make any other sounds too easily <laughs> so, that's right so it, so it really puts you in that era and puts you in that space to enjoy these games um yes we will get to that i suppose so when we play the game um, news and feedback. Uh, Mr. Fix uh, messaged me. He said, I've learned that the Flashback 9 S SD card slot, you now flashbacks are like all-in-one Atari gaming system yeah. you plug into your TV and you just turn it on. There's a bunch of games built in and you have a joystick and you play it. Um, this one just came out not too long ago and this one had an SD card slot. Ooh. primarily used for saved games but you know there's hackers out there that just, oh, just rip it apart that's how people roll that's right it's the wild west and he says it can be used to add games to the console um and you you had a firmware upgrade uh via a thread in the atari age of course um it would be cool if you could review it and see if it's better than the retron oh. 77 it seems to use the same version of stella that 77 uses and it does have an hdmi port and I was oh, that's very useful. It is very cool. Um, but the thing I, I haven't investigated it, so I can't confirm or deny that it does use the same version of Stella that the Retron 77 uses. But that was the problem with the yeah. Retron 77. It was using such an old version of the Atari 2600 emulator that it wrecked a bunch of stuff. It doesn't play new homebrew, which is a big, you know, Point that I would it be important for deal me. Deal breaker for what we're doing here. At exactly, Zero Page. and also the age of the uh, emulator that's used on there also doesn't take advantage of some of the video hardware acceleration. So there's a lot of screen tearing going on, oh. which was the other deal breaker for me. So those were the two things. And if it's going to be the same. I'm not going to pick it up. Yeah, the system you have going is really nice. Yeah, it is it is nice, I mean, but it involves a lot of equipment, so I can understand why people would be like, nah, I want to use it on my new TVs, but I mean, yeah. I've got like... Have you posted at all about your setup anywhere? I mean, is it something... No, I have a video of me altering my, my 2600. Yeah. with the upgrade but i haven't edited it yet okay. i mean i've got so much stuff james is plate. way too much to edit i'm even yeah. pushing things on his lap to edit <laughs> from my end and it's but just... it's like it's what i like doing but <laughs> as from here it's too post much post it post it post yeah and and then i can add on another video yeah. of my setup and how i take my my rgb modded system and how i get it onto the internet i imagine stream. that would be very valuable i mean it would be amazing oh, yeah. if other people in the community were interested in doing this i mean that's yeah the, that's really the dream is when all of a sudden uh you know you start something and it yeah. just takes off yeah and, and it would be helpful for those people out there who want to replicate this and get yeah. the best the best out of their system yeah because it I sounds mean, like that's if he's wanting you to review these things and they're not yeah. necessarily working maybe the answer is to sort of go hey this is what i do that does work that's right i mean um, this is not going to be for everyone this no. is expensive this I'm is sure like is. 700 canadian to do all this setup plus doing your own work i mean yeah. you can get somebody to mod it and then buy the rest well, but also but it is a lot of no, work that, but it's beautiful 
It's beautiful, and it's also this interesting thing of, like, I think this community is definitely on the older end where they've got some money to throw yep. around. I That's mean, true. for me, I couldn't do it because I'm, like, you know, I'm a working <laughs> yeah. single guy. They usually have the money, but not the time. Oh, there you go. That's the but issue. But you can get somebody else to alter it for you. So Totally. Yeah. So, I mean, that might be a valuable thing. I don't know. If you if you think that's cool, uh, let us know. Yeah, let us know if you if you think I should do a video on my my streaming setup yeah his... and also if i i should actually edit <laughs> the video that i recorded with darcy that i um that we altered my uh 2600 and as far as i know yeah. there's nothing out there showing the step-by-step -step procedure sure. on doing the rgb mod um we got lots of things happening people talking about it was almost yesterday and there's yeah, two what years is that and, gif that they posted uh, let's figure out what's going on it's is that a crocodile? Oh, it's an old, uh, old version old. of the aardvark. Oh, That's cool. What it is. Oop, did I just... Wade Rand's like, yes. S. Ramirez is yes. It looked like it was yesterday. Almost two years since. That drawing. Yeah, so now this is when, when Nano Chess was first starting working on the... <laughs> just after Al and Dan's interview. Yeah, uh, okay. okay. That's a smart... Th <laughs> Once again, I am supposed to come in as the, like, the voice of <laughs> it's like, reason. No, 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 not yet. We want those, those interviews, first. and that makes sense, because those are huge those are voices new. that we got to hear. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> that gift was my attempt to help. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, every, every little bit Every helps. bit does, Even dude, if they, somebody it. doesn't use something, something that's inspirational, that spurs people on to do more things. Just being in the room talking. <laughs> is a be, help. Oh, oh, you have yeah. no idea. It's unreal. Yes. Um, so we're going to go to the first game, uh, Castle of the Cryptid by Buckaroo. So let's turn that on. And make sure I have everything set up here. No. The castle of the cryptid. I'm ready. We're we so go. ready for this. Okay. I like your lighting setup. It's gotten so much better, James. Yeah, it's it is. Really, a it's, it's a lot softer refined. light. Yeah. It's not so harsh on the um, on the shadows oh, behind us. I mean, it's not right. ideal, but it's totally fine for what we're doing oh, here. It's pretty good, man. Not filming a. I don't know uh, what more film. you want to do with it. It's it's pretty good. Oh, TV's oh, not on. That would help. Yeah, from our end, <laughs> you guys are you guys fine. Can see you it. got it all. You can see it. <laughs> uh, so let's go to Castle of the Cryptid here, and we'll wait for our TV to boot up. There we go. Up our Reeboks. Oh my God, am I up? Okay, great. Yeah, you great, are great. always up first. Cool, cool, cool. While I read out what my what's A or B going on, of... it's always B. Yeah. Bam. Okay. Should I just jump in? Listen. I think it it does throw okay, you uh, in. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, death. Now there's no can sound. I jump? Can I? I can't. <laughs> yeah, just uh, um, do just, your best. Just man. die. Just do your just best. Die. What is? Fuck? Okay. Okay. I can't even jump. The... Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This was this is brand new. A uh, week ago. Oh uh, I've been God. playing around with bits for this game for over oh. a year now, but I'm struggling to find the motivation to finish it. Okay. Leave some comments and spur me on for finishing the, this uh, project. You're progressing. You're jumping. And well, stuff. like, the thing is I only get one <laughs> jump and then I'm dead. Okay, okay. This is life right now. <laughs> That's right. This is... You get one chance at life. It's one a plat chance. platform game using some of the mechanics you'd expect from a modern platformer. Oh, okay, okay. But to my knowledge, there's nothing quite like okay, this okay. Oh, for the look, 2600. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, take that. All Find right. attached a demo of the basic physics mechanics of the game. There's no goal at the moment. You just have to keep moving up the screen to avoid death. It picks a new level every time you die. Okay, I think I think we've we've mastered that one. We've broken. Uh, <laughs> we've gone from one alternative to the next. Uh, you can't lose, and the level da data repeats. I've got another file I'm working on with a level designer in it. But see, like, there's no benefit to me not just doing this. Okay, see, bam, 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 bam. Okay, I'm gonna... okay. Here's right. the controls. Fire is jump. Fire, fire is double jump. Fire while on a wall is a wall jump. Yeah, see, I'm just wall jumping like crazy. <laughs> okay. Up, up is fly. Okay. Uh, left, left, right, right is dash. Oh, there's dashes. I didn't know that one. Oh, see, see, this wall jump is easier. I've got plans beyond, well beyond what's in this demo. Uh, in the demo, you can't lose and the level data scrolls. Okay. Okay, so like this is rough. This is rough. Uh, you got to do double. Uh, this is made by Buckaroo, and you can actually download this demo in the Atari Age forums. Um, and I was talking with Buckaroo about his game uh, yesterday. Buckaroo, what a name. Buckaroo. Buckaroo Bounds. Probably not his real name. I haven't seen that film. 
Yeah, it's a pretty crazy movie. <laughs> it's like a good movie, but it's pretty it's of pretty its crazy. time. It's is it crazier than uh, Big Trouble uh, Big in Trouble Little, Little China? China it's which... comparable. For really, sure. it's crazy. Oh, that movie. was an insane. It's movie. cool. Yeah, movies of the eighties. Movies of the eighties. Kurt Russell insane. doing a John Wayne impression, <laughs> just fucking around, <laughs> not uh, knowing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, just bumbling his way through the film. Oh, oh. see, Ralph. Uh, so I was talking with Bakuru, and he said, "Here's a biggie. I've made a typo." And the game is meant to be called Citadel of the Cryptid. Bro. So he messed up and called What's... it Cra- Castle of the Cryptid. But it's supposed to be Citadel. I'm not going to lie. A Citadel and a Castle is different, but it's not like a completely different. They're si- I, it's similar. It's a similar idea. I've, you know, it's like it's there's... A Citadel. Well, a Citadel is Isn't like... one? What's more of a gathering point, I believe. Uh, okay. I mean, Citadel is like where, where governments would meet. Yes. Whereas and a castle is castle. like... Yeah, it's part of a it monarch a system. It, yeah. it could be, yeah. Versus the a King Citadel is more like democratic. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Wow, that's quite a distinction. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, same looking structure Ultimately, yeah. is what it's used for that's, that's different. Right. Oh, okay. Um, so there, you picked... Tyranny. <laughs> That's right. He wants, but he, yeah. he wants Citadel. He he typed it out wrong. His Freudian slip. He says Castle sounds too much like Crystal Castle. You should die and try and master the other levels. Okay. Because <laughs> you've okay. mastered see, that this one. This one's the the one that it's really hard. Ah, oh, see, like it's the double jump. Uh, he says Castle sounds too much like Crystal Castle. Well, but yeah. Oh, see, like it's really Crystal hard. Castle. Anything with castles will I gotta die, evoke. That's an easy one. <laughs> See this one, I gotta die too because I Why? figured out this one. Oh, you figured out that one. This oh, is the only one I haven't okay. figured out. Uh, see, like, see, this is not too hard. You just bam, jump just for repeat. a while, and then you run up, jump for a while. The wall jump is where it's at. Oh, okay. I've, I've been learning these things. Have you tried the dash yet? Double no. left, double right. Oh, let's do that. Oh, okay. not enough time. So uh, now we're into the. But see, like. He says there's a couple levels where you have to utilize jump, fly, jump. You do this by pressing fire, up, up, fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. The timing takes a bit of practice to get it right, and annoyingly, it's way easier on the keyboard than a joystick. Wow. Yeah, some games are really easy fire, on the Fire, up, up, fire. Bam, okay. It looks Whoa. like some holes. I'm dead. Nano Chess says it looks like some holes should be in walls to avoid the endless loop. Oh my god. Yeah, like when you're jumping up the right hand side, there should be like a, yeah, you're right. a wall to make it just a little bit harder. Jump, up, up, jump, jump. So this one's the, you have to get a lot of, you have to be quick, right? Yeah, see, like I can just do the wall jump, but I'm trying to practice the other ones. Jump, up, up, jump. <laughs> jump, up, up, jump. Oh god, you jump, up, up, jump, up, up. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not so easy. I shouldn't like announce what I'm saying as I'm doing it. Like, that's not really like. Well, it's, that's it's not hard to know what you're doing. Streamer uh... <laughs> friendly. Yeah. Jump, up, up, jump. <laughs> this entire jump, time. up, up, jump. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> left, 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 left. Could you imagine? <laughs> it's just every That would be game. bizarre. It's just like, well, Erlen has just resorted to just saying the controls that he does. That's how to fill air time. Yeah. That is, it's it's that, one method. I read as a streamer that you're meant to speak the whole time. You so are. I you're supposed said, to talk. Right now, I'm pushing the mouse button. And then I clicked it. <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> uh, story. The cryptid exp- escapes after 666 years. Hold on. Is this the game we're playing? Yeah. Okay. After being sealed in concrete. Abducts Hold. Princess Cliché. And <laughs> oh, see, you, it's you, pretty good. It's and good. locks her in the citadel of the cryptid. I don't know if you're if you're like not trying or you're a genius with a name. Like, <laughs> I know, like Princess, Princess Cliche. cliche it's Flo- folklore tells of the cryptid being able to assume the shape of any man or beast. I guess he's oh. that that claw thing at the bottom. Yeah, um, you, you will have to pick up the abilities as you go. Whoa. Dash, wall jump, double jump, fly. In the demo, you have already all the abilities from the start so you wouldn't have all these abilities whoa to begin yeah, this with would be a so the game. levels would be easier but you'd also have less abilities and you pick them up one a level maybe I gotta die now cause it's um, i'm in the middle of doing the art too but it's not good enough whoa, to share see, yet this is a level that i haven't seen oh. it's kind of amazing oh and i died <laughs> i'm like oh i got new content it says i'm in the middle of doing the art too but i'm not good enough to share i'm going for the hyper realistic boris vallejo vallejo Uh, style cover looking forward to watching 
It's going to be really late here, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh, man, thanks. In the UK. Who, who's this guy again? So I may not be able to see it live, but I'll record it later. Who's this? Uh, so it's Buckaroo. I don't see him in the chat, but he may it, it just be sense. watching I mean, silently. It, it's, it's a long time to sort of go. Gretams, what's up? Oh, Gretams says, oh, Boris is one of my favorite artists. You have definitely seen, I looked it up, you've definitely seen his style of art. Oh. It's like on old Conan the Barbarian. Can you pull very it up? Very realistic looking. Just so we can see it. Yeah. Because I mean, you're right. I mean, I'd love to. Because this is what he's influenced by, correct? Uh, what he wants his art to look like. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Better. Oh, yeah. It's like, kind of like. What was, the, what was that game? Everybody's... Heavy Metal Magazine? Yes. It's yes, totally exactly. That. I'm sure he did a bunch of covers. Everybody's like super muscly. And there's uh, lots of babes lots with of skin. swords. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, like really, really, uh, really detailed, realistic artwork. If other people want to bring that up on their screens. Ian Louise Royo, is that is that a response Royo. to um, uh, the I, heavy metal comment, or is that a different thing? That uh, it's probably sort of similar style, style artwork, cool. I'm guessing. Um, so let me. Oh. Take a stab at that. Do you that. want to try? Yeah, you jump See, in. Man. Uh, yes, I remember. Thanks, Gretams. That's cool. You got our back. I remember as a kid looking at Heavy Metal ah. Magazine and being super into it. Like, oh my <laughs> god, this is crazy. It seems so like I wasn't. Supposed I never to be. read it, but I mean, I uh, I thought saw I, it in the comic stores. Yeah, I always felt ah. like I wasn't shouldn't be reading ah. it, you know. And but I I really love like the artwork now. Some of my favorite artists. Yeah. Oh my god, that one's hard. This is tricky. Yeah. You have to get around. This is the hardest one. Oh. You have to do the double up jump. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a coin. The... <laughs> double up. Yeah, you can kind of go. And oh, then, okay. See, it's it's not as you said. It's easier uh, on a keyboard because I can imagine hitting a keyboard and doing like it. the double. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to. Oh my god. I think it scrolls too fast. <laughs> what do you think? Um. Well, it's interesting because it scrolls too fast, and then if you get ahead of it, it's you actually have a lot of like ah. time to chill out. Ah. So it's it's a weird combination of things where it's like it's too yeah. fast, but then it's too slow. Like right. like in this, like just do this for a while. Now, if you try to drop right, you actually can like you got tons of you tons can sit of time. for a bit. So it's like you yeah like you can chill out for quite a up, while. Up. Okay. Up up. Okay. Cool. I want to try the dash. Whoa, Ooh. okay, so it is quite a dash. He says, I'm seeing this game pushing up the aggravation <laughs> meter. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> it for sure <laughs> does. It's I, it's too hectic, but I mean, he is... This is just like a, a first entry into what he wants to do. Yeah. He's like pretty much making it at the hardest level at this point, That's I think. That's great. You know, I'm, I'm, I, so, I, we talk about it a lot on the show, but I think it's always a great thing if you can make the first, like, minute or level kind of ridiculously easy so that yes. you can just, just for the first time you play it. Because you want to get the controls under, under your control. Yeah, and it is one of those things where you always have to imagine that the, the player doesn't know anything about this game and it needs to learn it. Because I think you end up in this position where you know how to play it, so you naturally make it harder just because yes. you're like, it's obvious, oh yeah, this is the mechanics, but for someone who's never played, that's why it's almost like, think of the first level, I think, as a throwaway level, where it's just almost there and also it makes people want to keep playing your game because I think the games which are like super hard right off the bat I find myself immediately going oh just throwing the joystick across the room yeah or, or it's I'm less I'm, I, I'm not kind of pulled into them I, I you know starting off with aggression but if you build to aggression <laughs> yes. ooh, that's good yeah and um, the first level I think it should act as a tutorial kind of a demo of what the game's about um, but also should be fun for even a person who has played it a bunch of times. Yeah. That you can like almost speed through it if Correct. you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, it needs to be a, almost a tutorial. Where well, it's almost impossible to like even lose, but it's okay yeah. because you're yes, just. Yes, exactly. You're just, it's, you're, There's you're, no pits. You're ramping up. Like You're learning how to, to move, you're learning how to jump, you're learning how to 
kill the first monster that's, right. that's there. It's like everyone wants to emerge in the dungeon and just punch some rats, you know? <laughs> and right. then and then all of a sudden you get out into like the wasteland, right? And then you're and like, oh. You're in trouble. But the but you, you you need the punching rats level. You do. You always do. You start off with no weapons. You're punching rats, rats. <laughs> in in a dungeon. You're escaping the dungeon. You're finding the key, of you're course. Out, and often for people, those are the most fun levels because because you're just you you were you're remembering it from the first time. You're like, oh, yes. Oh. And also sometimes there's like secret things that you find yeah. when you play through a second time. It's like, oh, there's a weapon this, hidden or... behind this rock here that would help me out so that. You know, if you're a more advanced player, you can kind of speed through it a bit. That's right, and if you've done it quite a few times, then you don't, you can always, like, you, you, it's delightful oh, to go, like, oh my god, I just discovered something new. Yes, yeah, exactly. What so, are we looking at? Aardvark or Lost Dungeon Quest? Which one, which one was the order? What is next? I, remember, I think Aardvark you said, but I don't remember. Uh, it is Aardvark. So, oh, which one? Let's play. Let's show where it came from. So, is this the one that it came from? No, the, go to 2017. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh no, yeah, this one here. Oh yeah, that one. Sorry. That one there. Okay. So cool. we're gonna show you an old, 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 old version of it, um, because a lot of people have joined in and started helping Nano Chess. Oh, Whoa. this may even glitch out. Oh. <laughs> so don't. Okay, maybe don't do anything. Gonna, we're just gonna look at the graphics. We're just gonna stare at a green screen that goes. Uh, okay. It's <laughs> okay. It's too old. <laughs> We'll work on real hardware. Okay, press down the button. We're going to go a little bit newer then. Dude, we got some people quoting oh, yeah. some. <laughs> he hey, dies, man. she dies, everybody dies. My power infests all times, all galaxies, all dimensions, but many still seek me out. A green jewel they must possess. <laughs> Velcro citadel walls, yes. Yeah. Okay. He died, she died. Everybody dies. That's how I'm trying to think of it. So let's. Let's try it again and this. see. Because it, it played for like a second. So let's yeah, try Yeah, just let's don't start. press anything once it boots up. <laughs> oh okay oh okay you guys saw for a second it's still actually it's, it's still kind of rolling on, on your end and then it kind of oh, cool. but you can kind of oh, see where it came from there well yeah you know and also we're playing on console which which my understanding is that you know most people test on emulators so then they playing do. on console is, is is a later thing that yeah that they refine and make it make it look so make it work oh shit Oh, there we go. Yeah, Got sometimes it. the auto fire comes on. Oh, it did again. Weird. Okay. Press the button to get out of that. There. That's okay. like the info screen. Cool. So what should we do? This one? Uh, no. Oh, this let's one. Let's go. No, nah, let's just go to the new one. Are you sure? You really do? Uh, that's not old enough. Okay, that's cool. That's like the second to last one. Okay, Which so one? not the PAL one. Down one. This one there, yeah. Okay. Wow. It's funny, you know, in Europe, you've got pals. You've got what? Yeah. What is, not as Not as friendly, really. So, don't press it. Oh. You always do that. <laughs> but said press fire. No, I know. It instructed you. But we're looking at the new screen oh, he's done. Good point. I'm sorry, guys. So he's got the very cartoony. He's got the new music going on. In this demo, he's got the kind of Saturday morning comic strip aardvark uh, artwork there. Um, he's got a demo on here because this is a limited version of the game. Yeah. So that you can't play all of it. It's just to show off what it can do. I like the magenta blue yellow kind of style. Oh, yeah. It's really nice, especially with the fade. It's kind of cool. Really great. So he's got the dual colors going on there. He's got the um, play field providing... The background. I'm, I'm guessing it's a play field because it doesn't quite. Ex well, maybe it's maybe we'll it is the uh, the background. But anyway, either one of those. And then he's got the uh, player one and player two graphics drawing out the aardvark there and the ant that's trying to get away and the long tongue tongue there. And now he's included the names of all the people. He said, uh, for the record, the boogie woogie of the title was written by a small AI. What's the boogie woogie? What does that mean? <laughs> what? The, I guess the style of music. But it was written by a small AI. You know what? We are living in the <laughs> era of algorithms. We are yes. dating with algorithms. Everything is algorithmic. It's crazy. But it's the same every time. So it's not an AI on the Atari doing it. It was 
probably an AI. Yeah, probably the AI wrote the thing. Okay, so now he, he he's used... taken that written music. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm getting a doing on how you're supposed to. <laughs> he always spoils things. Um, so, this is the demo version that was released just recently. Uh, Thomas Yentz in the forum says, uh, he posted on November 16th, over the last month, the team has been working hard on the game. There's this team. Nathan Strum, Nano Chess, Chess, and Thomas Yentz. Man, some, some heavy hitting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, since we're almost done, we thought this might be the right time for another release. But also, because we're that close, the demo is quite limited a bit. Because they don't want to give away, give away the farm. I get it, man. <laughs> Yep, they want to give people a they chance wanna, to play they it. They want to buy the cow. That's oh, yeah. right, they, they when you can them, sell the milk. Exactly. Yes. You know? So this is just a taste of it because they're really close. Um, so they'll be. this will be in the store soon, I'm, I'm guessing. They haven't said when, but it's really, really close. Um, uh, there's only one game variation, medium difficulty. The release version will have heaps of option uh, combinations, and we did play those um, when with our... Uh, copy of it because we have a yeah. fairly recent. It's this one's quite more advanced. Uh, no save key support. <laughs> the release version will have will save multiple high scores. The ant hills and difficulty loop after five hills. No ant hill difficulty looping in the release version. It keeps going harder. Gianni harder. says, "Did I miss James getting to level ninety nine <laughs> on Scramble?" Uh, nope, Scramble's last. So that's John Champo there, um, yeah. who made this game that we're going to be playing in two more games. Level 99. Mm. Yeah, we'll right. see about that. <laughs> the reason why we're going to see is because Aaron going to get full this Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the one who's going to make it. I've been it practicing first every game. You know. <laughs> first run. First out time. Of the gate. Out of the... um, nevertheless, we are sure that the demo version still allows everyone to evaluate the game. We're hoping for a lot of feedback. If you like it, what can be approved? What is missing? Uh, basic rules eat all the eggs, proceed to the next hill. Ants and caterpillar can be it, eaten by the tip of the tongue, but are deadly for the tongue. The worm can only oh, be eaten from thinking. behind. Yes, you should. <laughs> so you can eat the ants and caterpillar. Yes. No problem. The worm can only be eaten from behind. And the queen at the bottom is like power pellet. Clears and the if screen. it hits the tongue, it's... Uh, it, only the worm. It, the worm. It's bad. It's bad. Yes. The worm hits the tongue. Then there's a spider if you take too long. The only thing that kills a spider is the um, queen ant at the bottom. Cool. Or finishing the level. Um, so, actually, Johnny, Johnny WC23, John Champo, has the high score in this demo. Dude! And it's 155,520. Once you start playing, you'll appreciate how good that be, score is, actually. So you can start going. Cool. I think I, I, we'll, there'll be a learning. Curve. So you can't set any of these because Makes it's just the demo. demo. It's just the basics, basically. Okay, okay, let's try this out. So I can eat these ants. Right? Look at that animation of that anteater. So I can eat. You can eat the ants, but not the worm. So what do I do about the worm? Just I get just... away from it. You're fine. Just get off that level. Go down one. There you go. Yeah, go down. There, now that you're safe from the worm. But you're going to get hit by that ant up there. Oh, so the ant... Ant will bite your tongue. Okay. You have to eat it with the front of your tongue. So you have to get, you oh, get I, that uh, one. I think I remember. Yeah. Watch out. There you go. There you go. And you're safe from that worm. Totally safe. What do I got to do? I gotta you can eat. get that worm to, from behind. eat all, of all this the stuff? dots. All the eggs. All the eggs. Yeah, S. Ramirez was leading in the scores on the Atari Age forums that I saw. And then uh, he gave his gave his uh, strategy away of just Buddy, eating a lot of a lot of worms totally and a lot of ants to rack, to rack up his score. Oh, you got it. You can get that from I'm... behind. Oh, in your there you face, go. and you get the get the points. Try and Damn, okay. beat uh, John's uh, score of 155,000. Oh, there will be. You've got two. Oh, no. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I was going to remember which way to do it. To... So you can see the sun is so going. So I can kill it from behind, right? Yes. The sun is going across the sky, and soon it's almost set. And that's when you're that's gonna. When the yeah. Comes. Okay. That's when the spider comes. It comes at night. Oh. Mostly. <laughs> a lot of things come at night. So, yeah, you want to get. Oh, you're gonna have to retract. Oh, I was gonna try to get oh. the thing. Oh. Um. So Keeps said, "Wow, 2018-2019 is shaping up to be an amazing homebrew year." He posted this in the forum with um, 
Aardvark, of course. This is absolutely incredible. I can't believe it's only a demo. Five polished with a title screen. And music is more than I expect anything on the 2600. This is an instant purchase for me when it releases. This is simply amazing work. And it is. Ooh, awesome. And, and um, all of the mountain king. <laughs> Arena Foot says, that is the main reason why I and James O'Brien wanted to start the Atari Awards at the end of this year. And then um, Thomas Yentz posted, and the awards are one reason for releasing the Aardvark demo. Oh. So they want to put their best foot forward for the Atari Awards with this game. And uh, so this will be this will qualify for a work in progress um, award um, because it's not finished, right? Um, so unless they release it before the end of the year, but I I doubt that's happening. Um, so this will be up for a work in progress award, and then next year it'd be up for you know any of the awards because now then it would be not a work in progress because it'd be released. So. Um, I think it has a very, very, very good chance. That's an amazing game. Yeah. But, I mean, there's it it is a lot of competition for work in progress. Um, and even more competition for finished games. Because there's some, there's some steep competition for finished games. Mappy. Mappy is, like, way up there for finished games. That's for sure. Um, this tongue is pretty great. <laughs> very waggly tongue. And I'm guessing the tongue is done by a player character. Yes. By PC. Um, because when uh, the worm and the score and the tongue was on the same line, it was flashing. Ah. Oh. Yes. Oh, uh -oh. fucked. You got to start eating everything. Oh, you're dead. Just the ants are coming oh. to get you. Great cartoon. Only if the artwork arc was blue. It, like that animation of the aardvark. I can't remember how many animations um, what do you Nana do Chess said. I think there's like 24 animation. Just... You gotta eat all the dots as much as possible. Like just get them now, now, now. Just get all the dots. Get all the dots. No, you wasted it. Now you really have to get all the dots. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. No. That's enough to oh, my turn. Well, I got like... 14,000? Oh, it can turn blue if you find the Easter egg. I'm oh, always, nano chest. I'm always amazed that, like, where can Easter eggs hide in this? Like, do you divert your tongue off the screen on one part? Or what was your score? Like 15,000? 14,000, and something. You okay. can say 15, because yeah. it's like it was very close to 15. But I mean, it, it, to be precise, it was more like 14,000. Like, to get 155,000, I'm like, what? You gotta be serious. Oh my god. I've not found the Easter egg. Terrible. That's from you. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, John uh, Shampoo says he was able to find it once, but he didn't know how he did. <laughs> oh. By accident. Okay. I gotta play better. What's going on here? Ah, should have gone around and got him. Nathan Strum. Oh, hey, Nathan Strum. Welcome. He's the guy who did the graphics. This, if I am correct, he's the graphics wizard. Thanks, Nathan. That's the fun part about this show is getting to watch other people play games maybe that you haven't. Exactly. You know, you just... Discover new games or yeah. watch people play games that you worked on. It's the beauty of the internet, man. It's like you get to kind of like w these interests that you have that you think that only you have. There's definitely somebody out there who's, who's also interested, and that's why it's fun to be in, alive in 2018. It's like, oh, yeah. there's a dude on your We're block. We're so connected now. Yeah, it's like you used to have to like try to find someone or like make your friends do things <laughs> right. that they actually didn't want to do. So, do you play D&D? And... &D? I play D&D. &D. Oh, Paying attention. Yeah, you should have killed, got one of the big ants. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, the artwork animation is is blows me away. It's probably the best animation I've seen in a What's movement like games? crazy, you know? It is like just eating the. Um, yeah, should have got. Gonna... Should have got the bonus. Oh, 
clouds are beautiful. Is that, um, well, what's the origins of this game, man? Is this, was this like an arcade that yes. kind of got ported over? Yes, this was an arcade game. It was never made for the 2600 or ported. Um, probably because... It's complicated, man. It is complicated. I th think there was one started, if I remember correctly, my notes from last time we... Or when the first time we played this? Isn't there an arcade version yeah. and like a live version of this one? An arcade, yes. Yeah, with like the arcade one, you actually went like really slow. Like you oh, couldn't retract fast right. or something, or you couldn't move this fast. Right. That's right. Um, there was two versions. And this one doesn't have, but that's okay. Well, this I'm is not, the demo. I'm this not suggesting demo. that that's a bad thing, but I just, I'm trying to remember if no, you are I can correct. eat that from behind. Dude. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Man. Ah, you I get the same points. You got this. Either way. Stuff. Um, yeah, in, in the full version, there is a slower and faster. So, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ants up top. 18,000? Dude. I missed it. Maybe that was your score. No, that's, no, that's yours. 14. 14. That's yours. I don't think I got that. A lot of work, a lot of effort went into the sound effects. Yeah, really appropriate sound effects for eating the dots. It's it's always the fine balance in 2600 games when using kind of default sounds like non good job. Um non um sampled sounds to ride the line between informative and annoying. And this is totally on the side of very informative but far from annoying because there's no sound right now, right? when there's a game where it's like ding 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 constantly the whole game yeah, man, you that's come. too much it's too much this is completely informative anything that happens you retract your tongue you eat an ant you eat um an egg and does it give it a different sound for the the worm it does give a different sound Oof, good job see i'm not watching the whole screen and that's that's where i'm failing that's for sure. Um, oh yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so really, really good appropriate sounds for this. Um, then there's also, yeah, you want to maybe have music in your game, but you have to be really careful with music. Oh, sometimes because... it's so hard, man. Uh oh, here comes the spider! Get the... Oh, you were, you were stuck. Well, I was almost finished. I'm done because I got Oh, it's move. always at. It's already at night. Yeah, there's oh, nothing I can do. I took way too God. long, man. Here comes the spider. Yeah, you're messing around with Well, I can't really, like, do much. Uh, you could do it. You could do it if you use your time up. The spider takes a long time to go oh, down. But see, like. But yeah, the ants are on their way. Well, I'm just it's not right. fast enough with this, like, a, you know, the, the, the joystick is. is hard because you're just like you know what i mean like sometimes i have you can to use diagonals <sighs> diagonals to get down oh that's better yeah it's way faster oh good job now just go for it get all the dots you can quick 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 and then use the um bonus ant there you go now you can do it the rest oh yeah come on buddy come on oh Woo! my ass but not really we'll see <laughs> how i do i don't want to so, somebody in the uh forums was commenting about the time it takes the dude to walk on the screen yeah and then walk off the screen They're like can we press a button to make it go faster I'm like it doesn't take that long it's kind of a reprieve too it's like you yeah, get it gives a little you bit a of time second, you know to just chill to chill for a bit and also the ants come on the screen you kind of get a a, a lay of the land too it gives you a tiny bit that diagonal thing man ch Whoa. changing my life oh yeah and you're doing good before uh buddy now he's got a green tongue um and it looks like they've remember that issue that we were having where the ant would coincide exactly with the tongue like when the game would start and it would as soon as the game started, you would die instantly because the ant was right at your tongue. Looks like they've solved that issue. How's the dirt? How's the dirt? The play field and the tongue oh, is different. Right. Well, the dirt. Oh. 
That is interesting. Because the dirt is the play field for sure. Players, balls, and missiles are used for the holes. Player. Oh. Okay, yeah. Because there's... The tongue only goes... The tongue even go through the holes? I don't think it does. Oh, it did it again. Level three! Kicking ass. Because the tongue is a different color, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it goes through the holes, it becomes a player. Oh, yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty of room. So the tongue's a player, the worms and the ants and the tongue are the little waggly part of the tongue. Um, and on this level, the green is like a ball. And I wonder if oh, those lines in the tongue, I wonder why they're left blank. Is that intentional? Would it look better with those lines filled in? Because I think you could you could fill in those lines quite easily. Whoa, what's that motherfucker right there? Uh, that is a normal, just a fast ant, I guess. Just a red ant. He's going a little bit faster. I think you could just treat him like a normal ant. Good job. I mean, I don't know if I actually... What was a wise it, move? But... Oh, get around him. There you go. Nice. Oh! Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh. Wow. Oh. And technically, if you make it to level six, it doesn't get any harder. You Whoa. can keep looping. Then you can beat uh, did I get some, John's score. Did I get some health or anything? Uh, oh, okay, no, I still have one guy left. Uh, I don't know if you got any extra Does that mean players. there's like one more like total or like one more? In terms of um, that's always a good oh. Whoa. That's too dangerous. Yeah, Stan, keeping your tongue at that, that level. Mistake. No, it was one. That's more. right, John. <laughs> Only 135,000 to go. He's 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 cheering Easy for you. Easy game. Easy. You got it. Let's do this. Oh, Dan K has joined us. Hey, Dan K. Welcome. We're playing the. Uh, Whoa. In your. Okay, the I new want... demo version of Aardvark. And it is cool, nice. It is man. nice looking. I, I can't see any issues. I mean, I'm not comparing it to the arcade game because I never played the arcade game, but in terms of bugs, the only bugs are the ants in here. I mean, the playability is perfect. <laughs> I like that phrase. It's good. It's terrible. No, it's terrible. good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Slow oh, effort. <laughs> no, it's um, fully. Come on, come on. Oh, see, I was going, I was going for Hail Mary. Oh, you still got, oh no. No, it's done. 23. Oh. On level four. That's something. That is amazing. Oh, God. Uh, Tiki Dan. Hey, dude. Yes, I was Yeah, nice nano four. indeed. Four. So I can actually read now because I'm not fully. <laughs> incredible job. Yeah, yes. dude, it's incredible. Oh, yes, I was supposed to say that this was done without, no arms were harmed. <laughs> in the making of this game. What does that mean? Um, arm processors. Um, no extra, um, like, help from an extra processor. Like, some of the more advanced games use a, a coprocessor on the chip. And this one does not use one. So this is all raw 2600 power making this game. Which is really, really, really amazing that this was done looks amazing it plays amazing it's a fun game it does have an ex extra um ram i really um oh I definitely feel for people who um are doing like all the you know it's two different challenges right like having to port something over you yes. have the reference which is like you know that the game is probably just gameplay wise works because if yes, you're that's right if you're inspired and you're like interested in the game still well then that tells you something but then there's also that other level of like um having to create an original game which is like yeah. you're doing everything right you're you don't From know scratch. whether this is this gameplay is going to work you're you're nope. basically a game studio you're you need to test it you need to do all this stuff so everything yeah um and so it's 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 almost hard to like assess some games because you're like well you know what like obviously this is incredible 
Um, but it's also, you know, it's, but it has this great reference material. Um, That's right. And, but on the other hand, when you're porting a game, are you going to do it justice? Yeah. Is everybody going to complain? Oh, it's not it's like as good as my memory, or it's not. Yeah, or you did, it's not as good as this uh, on the 7800 or the Nintendo or whatever right. other game it was ported to. So it's it's difficult. I mean, both both have their challenges. Um, yeah, level two. Yeah, there's no there's no easy ride. No. There's no way. It, this stuff just takes energy and time. It does, and a lot of time. Yeah, the, I commend these programmers. They're, they're just amazing. How much? How many hours they put into this? And a lot of them, a lot of them are, are doing team efforts now, like this one with Thomas Yentz, Nano Chess, and Nathan Strum all working together to make the best game possible. I mean, Nano Chess was on his own to begin with, but then people jumped in and went, hey, we can help out with this. We can contribute our uh, expertise and really help you out making this the best game it can be. Nice colors indeed. Oh, yeah. That's what Tiggy Dan's telling us. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the, col the colors are really bright. Magenta Everything's very choice. distinct. It's very easy to understand what's going on on the screen. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's not a muddy mess. doing okay now yeah man Getting in. I think it's from watching you no it's, you're better <laughs> at these kind of games than me so it's, it's, yeah. it makes sense the numbers are three pixels wide so easy to fit two in a bite oh okay see it's a big deal if you can get all this stuff right so you're already crushing because you, yeah. you didn't die as, as oh yeah much, I died so yet. You, so you added you add up all those scores oh, right you get better so, scores from because you eat all these like little guys that like add up Mm, 100, right. 200. Oh, yeah. you get bonuses. What are the bonuses for? Well, for however many you manage to eat. So, oh, so like, the more you eat. And also, that's it's a huge factor, right? If you don't die, well, then you obviously have eaten yeah, more, right? And it adds up because it's all times 10. So, mm. um, And the worms are worth actually quite a bit. So if you can get a 200. worm. But uh, when you times them, it, in the bonus, uh, it's not just the 200. They they add up. A, it appears to be quite a bit. i got to watch that bonus next time. Let's see how that works. Um, you got to race against the clock now. Oh, it's, yeah. It's well, I really took my merry time. <laughs> Which is like get down one there. technique. Oh, right? what? That guy, like, watch out, dude. Oh. You can't get that guy. No, it was the top. From behind? No, no there was, was some, it the top? There was someone oh. right at the top. So you get for ants and for worms. Yeah, but oh, you get two okay. per worm, right? So each worm counts for two, so that's like. So go for the worms. Or does it? I don't know. You guys would know. You can let us know. Seems like. Uh, red ant distracted me. Yes, it did. Yeah, I thought I did. died from the red ant. No, it didn't. I okay, was... I'm going to get that red ant right now. Bam. Okay, I didn't die from the red ant. It just happened to coincide at the exact same time. I killed one of those time. big ones, man. Uh, soon. Yeah, or you could just kill some of these guys if you wanted. Get the one. Oh. Damn it, I almost pulled back quick enough, but... It's okay. Okay, level four. Do you got way more lives than me? All the Mountain King, you classic. This. You got this. Yeah, see, it's like uh, it adds up quite a bit. Those so little worms. worms. So if you can get worms, go for worms. No bonus for the red, big red ants. No, they seem to count for just the same as any old ant. But you oh, get okay. you get an extra point for them, right? Only a hundred and three thousand to move into second place. Oh, uh, too far! It's tough. I'm not gonna. Oh, I got it back up to three lives. You do yeah, get you bonus get a, lives. You get a life, yeah. You get a twenty thousand. I don't know. I think it's like gain. I think 10? when you go to the next level, you get a new life. Well, that seems too generous. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We shall see if we see. <laughs> I don't know if we can see. God. Uh, sometimes like what, you get screwed. I gotta man. get that. There's nothing you can. I should have got that worm right away then. Yeah, cause... you're. If you're wise not to let the worm, you're just taking a risk. Free life for every twenty thousand. Thanks, John. Oh, thanks. That makes sense. So, so you can get it so from like behind just, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I almost and have to because it's close. well, it's not a bad thing because it's overwhelmingly in your favor because it also gives you bonuses that's anyways. So it's just tough because you also can end up taking too much time. So there's lots to balance for sure. But and that is oh, see so that's the danger of going down the sides. That's right. Is that it? No. Nope. No, you got one more. Got to make it. Yeah, because why not? Especially if it counts for two. Yeah, it's just too dangerous. 
Watch out, yeah. Watch out, all right, all right, top, top. Yeah, you got it. They're coming fast and furious now. They're coming at you. And they're faster now, too, so it's like... There's nothing. Yeah, good choice. Now it's nighttime. Good choice. Yeah, just kill, get the big, get the big one. Bam. Okay, you got Five. Bam. Bam. Graphics up top. Beautiful mountain range. The moon. Let's see. Two, yeah, three, look how four. powerful those worms are, right? It just yeah, throws your score because it's seven times. Oh, I guess it's seven times four, seven, right? Oh. So. so if you get tons of ants and worms, so it multiplies how many ants by how many so worms, like if you and got, then multiplies that by 10. That's right. If you got 10 ants and 10 worms, you're getting 1,000 points. Oh, that's, that's a good bonus. I see, I see. I'm pretty far from an extra life, though, unfortunately. There's nothing you can do here. Damn it! Damn it. Close, Close though, man. Good, we should move good on go. to the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll move on now. So, yeah. Oh, my God. It's Such cool. a great game. Great game, dude. So... Aardvark. Aardvark. What does Aardvark come from? Uh, well, it's a creature. That's for sure. Anteater? No. Um, like you... The taxonomy of the no. of the creature of oh. the, where they coincide with other animals? Oh, no. I just mean the name <laughs> Aardvark. Oh, it's it's an animal. Cool. Yeah, it's just straight up an animal. Uh, John says, is this the latest version? It seems to still have the high score bug. Uh, it's the latest posted demo version, as far as I can tell. That's why we test. Well, that is true. It's not recording the 28. It's keeping yours. It should have popped yeah. it over. Um, just and press it and die and see if 28 stays there. No. And I, and I actually so did, and I did better bug. than 14 because that's my first one. We've been told that Aardvark is better than Albert by Albert himself. Oh, uh, that's terrible. <laughs> More bad puns. Good stuff. Words. Okay, let's move on to um, Lost Dungeon Quest Apshai. Ooh, I'm ready. Press down okay. the button. Get some water. Uh, sorry, oh, yeah. So this is by D Justin W. Gibson. Justin W. Gibson. This first one, yeah. Uh, yes. And this one he just sent to me today. Wow. Because he was doing some bug fixing. Now watch the credits here. Brian Mathern. James O'Brien. How did you get on there? Testing. Play testing. Because I've been helping him off off channel. Um, testing, like, um, screen flipping, line counts, things like that. Setting screenshots, and of course Brian Mathern, yeah. who uh, is Arena Foot, who uh, unfortunately can't be here tonight because he works, unfortunately, a lot of the time. Kyle Gibson, Sawyer Gibson, I guess some other people in the forums yeah. or friends. So this is by Justin W. Gibson. So you can go for it. James has been a big help. Wait, man, cool. Oh. Wait, man? Is that you? Wait, Brain? Justin oh, W. Gibson? Really? Oh. What? Okay. Never uh, matched no, up the names. Never. Aardvarks and anteaters both start with an A, have long snouts, and rely on a diet of ants. But the similarities between anteaters and aardvarks and there, they are altogether different species. Anteaters belong to the suborder Vermilungua, and aardvarks are the only living species on, of the order Tubulidentata. That sounds like long tongued. Dude, I suppose to either did two things <laughs> number one he yes. copied it off of wikipedia or number two i supposed that was f fucking ready to go yes. with his understanding of anteaters and the, either is cool yeah the wording doesn't sound like um wikipedia it sounds too loose like the similarities end there they're all together different species eh, they both know that they, they sounds... both start with a that's what it is that doesn't sound like something to be on wikipedia well maybe part of it was Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I was supposed to call me impressed. And that's cool, Wade, man. We didn't know. Oh, well, welcome. We're playing your game now. It all connects, man. I mean, it, it makes sense. Okay, should I start or should yeah, I wait? Yeah, go for it. Bam. Um, so notes from oh, Justin. I remember this. So basically, I rewrote the code to fix the screen skipping, yeah, which uh, I've been helping him on. 
Uh, it does skip every once in a while when a monster spawns. Uh, in this version, we've got rid of most of that. I think there's still a bit. Uh, reworked the player movement, added a few more monsters, a goblin, a ghost. One of the more noticeable changes is the title splash screen with the theme music. Also, a few other sound additions. So there's actual sounds in the game now, before there was no sounds. So when you kill, kill guys, they die. Uh, the monsters now get progressively harder as you go up levels, oh, starting with the we easy ones. We played this one before, and, and, and that was one of our feedback, and it looks like it's... Kind it wasn't of... getting harder, right? It was just like repeating forever. I remember you said some anymore. stuff at the end. You were like, uh, you were talking about like some some RNG option. Yeah. Something. Every tenth level, there's a boss fight. Right now, there's only one at level ten, giant boss fight, but it's not finished and it's really easy to pass. So you got to at least make it to level ten to get to the giant boss fight. I have planned to have one in level 20, 30, and the final one is level 40. After the 10th level, the monsters get more aggressive, not harder to kill, but will come at you faster. Because they are kind of a little bit sluggish right now. You can, like you're way faster than the monsters. You can easily evade them. Uh, Albert wouldn't let us name Aardvark Albert, party pooper. <laughs> that would be funny. I think Aardvark may be a bit more descriptive than... Oh, he wouldn't let you, let you name the Aardvark Albert. Oh, why not? That would have been so funny. 88 health. Each of those health is 10. Little uh, pellets is 10 health. So. That's good news. Yeah. Health stills appears randomly, but I put it so it will randomly come up in certain spots in the room. I plan to make the monsters spawn this way as well, so they don't always spawn, spawn from the same corner. Oh, God. Same corner of the room. Oh, God. I just got wailed on. I need this. I need this health. 87. This there health. you go. I changed the room timer so you have I one minute this. to I clear a room. So badly. Oh, God. Instead, you got hit. Oh. oh, you're pushing the guy around. Don't push the guy around. Oh, God. That's way too much energy. Oh, God. 68. 78. Oh, you're back, getting back up okay. now. 88. Uh, There's a lot the more health in this round. Score still changes color every 15 seconds. Uh, if it turns red, you're almost out of time. Whoa, there's this guy. I don't know. Phantom of the Opera, dude. This guy. Oh, he's got wiggly eyes. That looks like a skeleton. This looks like, for yeah, sure. take that skeleton. I may plan to make the score flash when the timer's about to run out. I think that's a good idea, actually. Because then it's like panic time. You well, gotta yeah, start killing people. It says a few bugs uh, to fix. Sometimes the player or monster will get stuck in a wall. Oh, damn it. I was going to show him that bug. Because you can push a guy right into the wall. Yeah. And then you're dead. The game is over. You can't kill him. Rip. Oh, yep. God. And you just run out of time and die. <laughs> uh, it's there, an awful feeling. There, it happens to all of us, though. In the sometimes end. you feel like you're stuck in a wall. Yeah, and you just wait. And you run out of time. And, and, and then you just die. <laughs> <laughs> this is an existential uh, zero-page homebrew. I mean, metaphorically die. <laughs> Wade Rain says, yippee, it's working! I wanted to make the first ten levels easy. Take that, spider. I mean, Give me some health, give me some health. Oh, God, I missed the health. I mean, you are, Come you on. are getting hit, so it's not like it's impossible to get hit. Oh, you, you're shoving them back. They, they stab you in the stomach when you shove them back it's really okay. quickly. It's okay. Uh, some of the scoring is off at times, he says. Uh, I've also discovered a bug where you can kill a monster if your back is to them. Oh. That's good news. That's, so you're like doing some reverse stabbing <laughs> That's motion. where all the most powerful moves are. Right yeah, back. some flip, you know, That's back That's what kicks. Bruce Lee does. He just <laughs> backwards. Uh, there's some problems how you attack monsters. You should be able to attack straight on a monster, but some it seems you need to hit more at the bottom front of a monster. The ghosts and the fungus are the biggest problems. Is That's, that a fungus? That looks like a fungus to me. This is like a cat. It's green. Yeah. I would say rat, but oh, it looks like right. a cat. It looks... Most most looks... games don't make you attack cats. Yeah, the cats are not on the... <laughs> Even though rats are really great pets. Arguably better than cats. Yeah. Because they're more affectionate. But they only live three years. Oh, see, that's, that's the, the saddest. Breaker, it's one of the right? saddest pets to ever own. I, ha I, I have owned rats. And, and you become attached. And you get they... so attached to them. They're so gentle with you. Like the most gentlest animal ever. Aww. And they're God, just... You make they're the, like, like the tiniest little pink hands that grab onto your fingers. But they are so prone to cancer. It's not oh, even funny. No. Well, aren't they, there's so much testing done on rats, That's man. why they test on them. Because they have Such a, a sm very high level of cancer that they can get a... a like a, a base level 
that. It's like most most rats develop cancer at this age, at this frequency. And now we stuff them full of drugs, and now they develop cancer at this frequency. So Rather than... I guess their lifespan is so short, right, that you can actually like test things over time. And they breed really quickly. Well, my favorite story is, is a short story called Flowers for Algernon, yeah. and that's about a rat. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good story. Ah. Daniel Key. Oh. If anyone wants to read it, it's really good. It's it'll 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 hit you in the feels. <laughs> Not a lot of people read anymore, but it's a good one. It's a short story. Oh man, it's good you got health. I think I feel that the this is the an ratio armor. is getting better. This is an armored enemy. He is. Oh 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 oh! You gotta kill some dudes quick. You're in the red. It's gonna be game over. Get down, kill that guy quick. Or you're in the wall, turn uh, around. Uh, 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 yes. Oh, just in time, I think. Holy cow. Okay, I now think I might be 10. fighting a boss. Yeah, boss time. Oh, you didn't get that. Oh, he's really easy. He's not even hitting you. <laughs> in <laughs> you your face, his, boss. He found his weakness. And now they should be going faster. Cool, oh. They're going a little bit faster. In some ways, that's an advantage because, like, actually, there's a lot you of can get time it done that, quicker. Like, it was hard to, like... I was honestly, like, wasting a lot of time, like, looking Getting for them. Yeah. Did I kill him, or did it just... <laughs> Green is a bit hard to see. The pellets. Yes. Uh, oh, John, Champo, it's past his bedtime. Oh, oh John! That sucks, because we're playing your game next. Oh. Hold on, John. Well, have a good night, John. Uh, Thanks for making games and being awesome. Yeah, Definitely thanks for making games. You and make games. some of the best games ever. Oh, and I'm very excited to hear about your new game, Zookeeper. Very, very awesome. Um, can't wait to see it progress. Matt Damon might buy it. that zoo. <laughs> and then somebody can Was that a it. terrible movie? I didn't yeah, see it. I never it saw it either. Terrible. But it was just felt like it was all in the title. It's like, what happens? He buys isn't a it, zoo. Isn't it like somebody buys a zoo? It's called We Bought a Zoo. <laughs> I think. The is most... that what it's called? Ooh, I, Nathan's I working draw. on sprites as we speak. Nathan. All right. Thank you, Nathan, for What's, making the graphics. What does he mean, sprites? Um, graphics. Player characters. You know, um, good guys, bad guys, sprites. Cool. So, yeah. yeah, that's a cool thing that you got going on. You're, like, yep. watching zero page. A... You're doing your work. Oh, yeah. Champ Games is a team effort. Hell Scott. yeah, man. I just post on the sound. Champions. Nathan Strum on the graphics. John Champo on the programming. It's a solid team. I'm ripping through this. Yep. I mean, um, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky yep. with statements like Final that. plans are to add a few more monsters. Cool. Maybe swords like sword swing. Uh, sounds like sword swing. Moving through doors. Final death song and maybe some footstep sounds. Um, I'd be careful in the footsteps. Yeah, sounds. it's low priority. I, it would be because nice to like have some power ups, man. Yeah, power ups. Like It'd be cool, like my sword getting longer or something. Yes. And then I, when I get hit, I lose it or something like that. Yep. Better yeah. um, power like ups a, for armor. Bow and arrow, or like you know, yeah. there's some or like some projectiles would be awesome in this game. It'd be so good. It would just be cool to like, because right now I'm kind of like, you get close, you, you just, hit. You just yeah, yeah there's a bit rinse repeat, which isn't a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. But I would love to be. It's so stupid. I'm so dumb. See, All, there you go. All players are dumb. If go around the other side, I found. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I mean, most, teleport. What I mean by all players are dumb is that all you need to do is like add like experience leveled up. Yeah. And like you don't even you get a feel need that to do anything happening. different. And all of a sudden, I'd feel like, oh, I'm getting better. I'm advancing, and it's just it's it's Whoa. dumb, but it it does work. It does. Yeah. So, um, uh, a rare health potion that will regenerate your health fully. Yes. That would be dope. That would be a good addition. Uh, three I would other... like it if like they dropped shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like so would, where would they die? I would prefer it if like every time you kill someone, there's a chance that they can like drop a potion instead. I'm gonna. Yeah. Die. Maybe I'm you dead. can make that Rip. the full health potion. When oh, dude, I they just die. scraped by. Uh, three other boss levels. Yep. Some monsters that will shoot at the player. Yes. Yeah, dude. And if I can shoot. Yes. Get a bow, even if it's limited arrows. You can find like you arrows get ten arrows. Yeah, you fill up on arrows. In your face, rat. And a few Easter eggs. That rat story makes me sad, man. Holy it is. Cow. It's, it's like, very sad. Describing their like little paws. Oh, and... they're ador adorable. Oh my god, they're adorable. Um, Although, like, man, we're we're so like we're so mean to rats. 
you think about it, we like see a squirrel, we're like, oh, we should give that squirrel a like, you know, some of our treats. You see a rat, you're like, we should murder it, it with everything we have. Kill it. Yeah, no kidding. Like, we're just assholes to rats. There's... And now now that I've anthropomorphized them by your story, I'm feeling really <laughs> doubly guilty. I guess bubonic plague was a thing. Yeah, and that's, they got a bad rap for that. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> like bad rap. Is... <laughs> yeah, even though it wasn't really their fault, it was more a sanitation issue. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be like, you know, like drinking near feces water, like. And dumping your your refuse into the street yeah and into like, the into the water you drink yeah. i think we've learned some stuff since then. <laughs> i'm almost dead you are dying there yeah we're you all are dying going to james slowly day by day one more second closer to death oh, all in all hell. the game is still to its original plan kind of like the time management game where you have to watch your health room yeah, timer i'm dead what rip, monster rip, you're about to rip, face rip oh whoa oh. Uh, later dudes a, have fun sort of you a two test Gretums. yep Bye, whoever's good leaving. To, good to, good to uh, see you today. Thanks for hanging out on stream, Gretums. I'm about to die. Uh, I suppose says, is there, there's a ROM with the 2600 Zuki per, Zuki per sound. Yes, there is. Um, there's a partial Atari prototype with the sounds. Whoa, I need some is there more. an actual prototype of the game? I thought there was only a sound give me, demo. Give me that health. Give me that health. Yeah, need you it. need it. Get some Hold health. On. Hold on. Get some health in you. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta kill some guys too. In your yes, face. you do. You gotta do it both at the same time. Oh, I just missed it. Hey, Nia. Oh, I just missed it. Nian Dare? Dare? Nian Deer. Nian Deer. Hey, dude. I think or that's how we'll do, do it. Do that? I just call everyone dude. Uh, most Oops. people are fine with that, I found. I hope so. Hey, person. Hey. <laughs> human. Fellow human. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably running into it is not. What was that? Is 19? Is that the level up? That's the level you're on. Ah, so close. I just want to show boss, the um, man. show the rat problem. Oh, I think it's. No, come down here. Come down come here. Come down here. No, no. Come over here. No <laughs> AI like at a all. Cat to me. I mean, yeah, it's got a really long tail. And rat tails don't usually go up like that. There we go. <laughs> and now it's game over oh no yeah seriously you have to die so that's a bug that i wanted to show him but he actually he knew it. about it cool die no is yeah. this wade rain's game again yes wade yeah rain. wade man thank you this is awesome yep, very cool i'm looking forward to the additions uh especially projectiles, projectiles. i think that'll change the dynamic of the game for the better and i'm almost dead because I can't kill the rat. Can't kill the rat. Here, I'll put on the magic sword. Oh, <laughs> mega fire? <laughs> mega fire. That's where it's at. That's oh, I got it. Oh, but you died. Oh, right. okay. Next game? So there we go. So that is Lost Dungeon Quest of Ava Apshai. Quite a, quite a mouthful. So thanks for making the game. That's yes. Cool. So this one's actually on cartridge. The wall stopping is on the list as well as the shooting. Yeah, man. So this is Scramble retail boxed version. I bought this a long time ago, um, but I haven't got to it. Um, and there's more that I haven't got to yet either. But someday, someday. the camera will pan up and you will <laughs> You'll see all of right. the games. One day I'll do a tour here, of my right above me my Just office. There's a lot of games up there. That's true. <laughs> a lot of Atari 2600 homebrew. Uh, and on lots of NES games, too. Oh, uh, lots of everything. I shouldn't be. I'm teasing. Lots of everything. Lots of Vectrex. So let's open this up. Scramble. The classic arcade game comes home to the Atari 2600. How far can you invade our Scramble system? Scramble system. Uh, made by Champ Games. Copyright 2016. So two years ago. Finally got around to it. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, shit. So we got a nice poster as Play per Sydney usual. Sydney Hunter? What's that? Sydney Hunter. Well, it's no such thing for the 2600. Um, it does exist on Coleco, in television, Nintendo, I believe. You just kill Australians? Commodore no. 64 <laughs> as well. What is Sydney Hunter? It's uh, a homebrew game oh, cool. that they actually ported into a bunch. It's an original homebrew game. Um, kind of like uh, you're in a temple, you're going through mazes, that kind of game. Um, then, it's very, very cool. It's very expensive, though. 
Yeah. Very expensive. I would have bought it if it was like 20 bucks input. cheaper. Yeah, there's nothing planned. Oh, I see. So this is the poster for Scramble that's included. That's fine. The cool poster, man. This very cool poster. It's got all the elements. It's got your who... ship on it. It's got some rocket that goes up, try to kill you. Got the fuel over here. Some yes, sort of Mr. base Fix. thing. And yes. November 1st is Player Vectrex Day. I, I, I don't know if I missed that or not. And the rocket about to go up. Very cool. Champ Games, disturbed by Atari Age. November 1st is Play Your Vectrex Day. Yeah, so I didn't play my Vectrex. we wait a whole year. I know, I missed it. What do you mean December 1st? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, is it December 1st? No, I think no, it was. I mean November 1st. Um, oh, also, is... if anybody wants to buy this game, it is in the Atari Age store, and they just restocked the boxed version. Oh, cool. So if you want it with a box, now is the time to grab it, because sometimes the boxes run out. And it comes with a comic, actually. Cool. The uh, Scramble Force comic. And we will get to that in a bit while you play. And we got the cartridge, beautifully colored. Just like the cover. There you go. Actually, let's do a close-up of this. Uh, hide your face, or I'll hide your face. I'll just like, hide my eyes. There we go. Very nice. Champ Games. Dave Dries. Dave Dries. Dave Dries. Hard to film slash stream Dries. Vetrex in 50 hertz. Um, yeah, it is difficult. But it's... I'm sure there's a way, but... It, it is. It's not quite the same as filming this kind of stuff because it is a... It's a phosphor that you're filming. So it has a die-off. Mm. Um, so if you um, prolong the exposure time to it, so if you set the exposure time to, say, 20th of a second, uh, rather than the standard 50th, it'll have a longer die-off time, or 30th of a second, mm -hmm. depending on what frame rate you're p playing at. Um, so it's, it is quite easy to film, actually. It's not that hard, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm, maybe I'll do it in the future. I do have quite a bit of homebrew for uh, Vectrex. Vectrex, damn. Yeah. The uh, complication comes in because you're looking at the screen and you have to film the screen too. Yeah, so you kind of get in in the way. You got of... this set up at a good place. And... Yeah, but yep. maybe one day. It never looks like they're being in person. No, I, I've seen very good recordings of uh, Vectrex. Um, so let's get into Scramble. So I played the sequel to this actually before. Also, it's a dangerous thing to tell this this room that it's hard to film something because yeah. James will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, don't don't challenge us. That's what us. we do. <laughs> we, we will film it. But uh, but I and imagine I, for like the average person who doesn't know how cameras work, yeah. it's gonna be an effort. And I actually and, know somebody, um, the guy that com comes to my video game night. Yeah. Um, that's his job, to, is to supply the film industry with televisions dude he knows how to film and set up televisions to be filmed that's amazing so and also not I, an issue i don't <laughs> want to take away i suppose his comment where he says it never looks like they're being in person well that's it's very true. true that is true especially with something like a vetrex because it is such a unique experience where it's like it we're looking at an led screen it's like it's the same medium but the vetrex is, is a really its own thing it's almost yeah. like it's like being at a laser it's show it's like it you is. can film exactly. a laser show but it's but not the being same being there you your know. eyes it, it's made for your eyes to see it and not a, a camera to see it that's so right it's tuned in perfectly for that so before you start pressing buttons like you like to do <laughs> so it's made by champ games 2016 mystery mystery and i'm sure that's intriguing. that little graphic at the bottom is incorrect because my system likes to have crazy timing you see that little blue stripe yeah i bet that's not supposed to be there for sure um I mean, it looks fine here. Ooh, this is going to be a hard game, one, man. I can one. already tell. I'm just uh, looking at this. I think, yeah, I don't know if this is your forte. This is not my type. forte, but I, this is where James... I'll, I'll try, and James is going to take us home today. <laughs> yeah. Dave's also working on packing artwork for Dungeon, Dungeon 2. Both those are cool games. Ooh. Also worked on, yeah, the very good graphics uh, on the covers for that. Um, Wolfenstein VCS, Phantom Two, Phantom Two. I don't know what. The, I mean, I like Wolfenstein games. Um, Wolfenstein VCS. I'm sure that it's. Oh, I mean, it's just a name. Isn't isn't that a hack? 
I'm pretty sure that's a hack. Um, anyway, uh, so this was originally the first version of this was issued was put on November 13, 2015, by John Champo, who has left us unfortunately. John. But he's seen. I'm sure you know. I'm sure he's going to sure watch it. Later. Yeah, he will. Hello, everyone. It's been a while, but I've returned to the 2600 homebrew programming, and would like to share my latest game. So he yeah, took like eight years off programming, and this was his return. Go for it. So there's two buttons, uh, B and C. C is bomb, so you'll need that. Whoa, okay. Uh, Whoa! Oh. There you go. Uh, for those who don't know, Scramble's a side-scroller stage-based game. Simply okay. those of another game are released a while back. Here's the text from Portrait Retro Gaming placard where Scramble was first. Uh, Scramble was first oh demo. Oh my god, I, I'm dead. Blah, blah, blah. Rip. We'll get to that later. I'd like to thank Nathan, who's right there. Nathan, uh, for doing all the graphics, Bob for graciously letting me use the sound and drivers from his 7800 version of Scramble. So there's a version put out for 7800. Whoa, come Bob? And Daryl, Daryl Spice Jr., helping me uh, get up to speed on the DPC Plus arm. Um, so this was used, uh, was made using DPC Plus, uh, using an extra chip. So there's an extra chip in this cartridge that is in the uh, system right now that is doing behind the scenes work doing all the fast graphics so you can get all these colors and all these int intricate graphics, single line um, graphics on the screen. Why does it say welcome to the chat room? That's very strange. Can I somehow disconnect and reconnect? I hope not. Right, we're still streaming. We're still, still streaming. recording. It's we're all still good. Going. I'm just bombing things. Trying to, not die. <laughs> trying to survive. Trying to make the second uh, stage. I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to like. There we go. I got some fuel. And then there's something that's happening there. I got three points. <laughs> good news. Yeah, you need some fuel. Uh, oh, you go. Okay. okay, that's good news. Okay, bomb. Now I'm gonna give you a little hint. Oh. Flying lower to the ground, close to the ground, is a little bit better because you only have so many bombs and they don't reset till they hit the ground. But your mileage may vary because it is more dangerous because of the rockets. You don't have as much time to evade it. Uh, I love uh, Esmer Ramirez uh, says, wow, I love both games. Love the moving tanks and Super Cobra. Yeah, Super Cobra is a, I've been told, it is a hard game. And I did almost make it to the last level on Super Cobra. I made it to level 10, but didn't make it into the last boss area. Unfortunately, I tried my hardest. It is a hard game. How does this work with the regular joystick? I believe either down and the button. I gotta read the instructions. Is the instructions too? Maybe I'll read the instructions. There we go. Uh, controls. Oh, both button oh fires. My God. Oh both. my God. <laughs> button fires both the missiles and the bombs simultaneously. So one button does both. And and realistically, I'm pressing both buttons at all times when I'm playing this game. <laughs> they got gotcha. you. That's a good tip. Yes. Because why not bomb all the time? You don't you don't run out of bombs. So you made it to the second level. <laughs> These games are like. Oh. And uh, on a gamepad, B fires missiles, and button C drops the bombs. Um, you get one more try before. Me. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't worry, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a long try. Now, when I'm gonna play, I'm gonna turn on the mega fire, so you can do that if you like. And you can hold down B and C. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna just wreck this. Just hold them down. There you go. Because realistically, you're just pressing the buttons constantly throughout the game. And it's just a pain in the ass. So that's oh, what I'm face. gonna do. Uh, you can also use the Genesis gamepad to bomb and fire with two buttons. So that's what we're using. The Sega Genesis Arcade Power Stick. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see it. So this is the joystick that I use for 99% of the games. Play. It has three buttons. This uh, is the middle button is the fire, and Feels the like two a button is the bombs. I can turn it off, and you can press them rapidly. No, I'm not, <laughs> Constantly I'm not rapidly. Gonna complain. Oh, nano chest is out of here. 
Bye, Bye now, Chess. Thanks, Steve. Thanks Hang for out. making an uh, art bark. I'm looking forward to future versions of it, and I would love to debut the final version on the show when you get it done, so keep in touch. Oh my god, that's so long. So much space. Oh, we're on so much happening. <laughs> we're on standard level. You get four ships, standard enemies, and speed, similar to the arcade. So we're playing an arcade equivalent version right now. It's also um, advanced. Are we playing advanced? No, I'm sure we're playing standard. And then there's an expert, uh, similar to advanced, plus rockets launch on all stages, including heat-seeking rockets, enemies' ships fire missiles, meteors move in more challenging patterns. I got some help, though. Oh. Uh, one more life. Uh, Kamikaze mode. Burst? Oh, that difficulty. Burst mode. Fires up to five shots, three missiles, and two bombs. Whoa. So we're on the, we are on the easy oh. Rip. Okay. Okay. Good night, S. Ramirez. Where are we at? So we're on other menu controls. Okay. Select, returns to the title page and cycles through skill levels, and reset or joystick buttons starts a new game. Um, uh, pause slash resume is a color black and white switch. And, uh, pause on the card. Or 26. Um, uh, joystick <laughs> button fires both missiles and bombs simultaneously, and the gamepad button B fires missiles, button C drops bombs. Controller is uh, auto-detected if connected before startup. And just gives us some list of how powerful things are. Bonus ship at 10,000 and every 50,000. Oh, did you get a bonus ship? I did. Oh, I just got 10,000 <laughs> points. Nice. We set high score table for current skill level while on the score ranking uh, screen. Press and hold reset, then press select. All scores are all scores are reset back. Thank you. And uh, with save key, the ten, the ten high score saved for each skill level and current skill level is also saved. God. Um, and then there's some Terrible. badass like cartoon sort of like things going on. Do a dramatic reading of the uh, sure the comic do it. you're getting. As you know, the alien invaders are advancing to take ah! over planets in our solar system, establishing bases. Enemy bases are well protected with rocket ships and meteors. These alien bases are stocked with fuel and serve as refueling points for their ever advancing attack fleet. Each base is controlled from a central command center, buried deep underground, destroying this command center will force the aliens to abandon the base and retreat. Nice. Kill Information those. gathered from our spy satellites tell us that the aliens have established bases close enough to launch attacks. Oh boy. We must Under fight back mode. and stop their advancing. Like there's, like, there's explosions, there's an alien, he's looking at shit, he's got <laughs> things, it's like exclamation points, he doesn't know what's happening. And upon successful completion of your mission, you will proceed to the next enemy base featuring increased difficulty. Because this this ship has destroyed a base, is under the new channel. Uh. Fuel will be used at faster rates. Your ship moves faster. Rockets move faster and fire more often. <laughs> enemy ships move faster. Meteors move faster. Oh, more geez. ground targets. Faster enemy missiles in expert mode. Bam! There's like explosions. <laughs> Lots of bombs. There's a fuel tank. <laughs> you carry only enough fuel to reach the engagement area. It's a suicide this mission. This is a suicide fucking mission, man. <laughs> Once there, you will be destroyed the alien fuel reserves. So you're just blowing oh. up alien fuel you reserves. One job. And stealing. Okay, your ship is equipped with energy transfer technology that will automatically convert and transfer their stored fuel to your ship, allowing your mission to proceed. Entering engagement zone, manual control, destroy all 99 bases. Uh, this is your mission. All 99 bases, man. 99 bases? Finally defeat the enemy and claim ultimate victory for the home planet. This is what I like to think of Earth. <laughs> That's and what John was saying. He's like, oh, you're going to... Defeat all 99? Mm, yeah, luck. And so we've got ourselves I don't think credits. So. I haven't even made it to the first base yet, let alone the 99 base. And so the, who ship, made this game? the ship itself it says good luck. <laughs> it says good luck on the ship? Yeah, I'm going to Let me see if 
I don't wanna, let me hold it in front of, there we go. It says good luck. So who made, so. who made this game? You need credits. Okay, uh, code and design is John uh, Shampo. Graphics and level design is Nathan Strong. Nathan! Music, sound effects, and sound driver is Bob uh, De DeCrescenzo. That's a great name. Just DeCrescenzo. De oh. De uh, uh, oh, come on! Additional sound effects is Mike Haas. That's how you supposed to? Oh, I do! I suppose so, Mike Haas. I supposed to. Uh, um, label box and manual design is Dave Drews, which we found out he also did Dungeon, which is great. Like that one. Yeah, and, that was uh, real. Nice. Uh, manual text is uh, Dave Drive to make him strong, and it was published by Atari Age. And additional thanks to Thomas Jens oh, for oh, his yeah. many suggestions, helpful hints, and hours of game testing. Daryl Spice Jr. for his help with uh, DPC programming and the demo code used to start Scramble. And John would like to dedicate this game to his brother Paul Mike. Yeah, he's got lots of brothers. <laughs> probably hung out and played games with them, and that's what inspired him. That's the narrative I Atari like to age. imagine. Dude, where are you? You the base? You're doing, I just lot, miss it? you're doing a lot better than, than uh Oh, you have to I keep do. going. Atari. What are you supposed to uh, oh, oh, no! I killed the base and that died! Suicide and That was my mission. last ship. Keep, just do another one. Oh. You've got a much better chance than I do. So you, you do another round. Oh my god. Just keep going. Just go deeper. I got top score. <laughs> well, that's okay. not hard. <laughs> yeah, those default scores are not And then it's high. not like I'm a contender. Okay, so now I know how to kill the enemy ship, but you have to get in and out. So... Nathan Strum so says uh, you got to check out uh, Dave's animated trailer for Scramble 2. Um, so oh, everyone, I did see that. That's amazing. Check that out, it's man, if you want to... It's the most amazing... Um, Commercial for a homebrew ever made, for sure. I was blown oh. away by it. This it. animation's cool. This writing's cool. Oh yeah. Bang up top. This is a true suicide mission. <laughs> this is insane. like that movie Sunshine, where you're there, you just like fly towards it. the sun. And I haven't just, seen it. That's a good movie. I did want to see it. Do you like you like science fiction? Movies? Oh, this is one of my favorite science fiction. Movies. Like, did you ever see uh, 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 Ex Machina? Uh, yeah, yes, I did. Um, the, the director the and writer, yeah, the director and writer, he wrote, uh, Sunshine. Oh. Yeah, uh, did you ever see 28 Days Later? Yes, I did. Same writer. Oh, he's a good guy. Uh, what's his name? Good writer. Uh, I, should remember his name. I can't remember his name, but he's really good. Nice, okay, I will definitely, definitely watch Sunshine. What? Am I out of here? It's directed by Danny Boyle. Who's cool. Yes. And this score to it is so good. The score alone is the best. You gotta listen to a really? good sound system. Yeah, nice. it's a really good oh my god! You were reading while I was doing this last time. Yeah, I was, I was in the belly it's of the beast. Easy and... but hard. Like, I can, I can see that. Cause... It's just relentless. It's actually very long, this sequence. You're just trying to just not die here. Yeah. I mean, it only becomes difficult when there's like a row of them like forcing and you up. You're just or dodging. Down. There's no way to kill them? No. Whoa, dude. Just yeah, man, I can even him. get past the last one. Yep. Ah! Oh, James. But it does remember where you left off. That's so decent. You don't have this to. This isn't like Battletoads, man. Oh my God. No! Oh, I made a bad decision there. It's okay. Damn it! Just wasting lives. This is. Uh, I made it up to the bonus level. It's because you don't move very fast up and down. Yeah, it's not. Just you barely gotta enough. This stuff. Yeah, you got to commit to a direction. I suppose this says I stay low. Oh, oh, it is pretty. No, uh, it's not. It's, it's not clear low. So plus there's like danger down there. And there's too. all that stuff too. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna stay in the middle. James has got his method. Yeah. You know, it's working whatever better works, than what I would have done. Whatever works for the, the person That's playing right. the game. Yeah. This is tough because there's no room! Uh, Hug the terrain and stay to the right. Hop over the hills and you have a clear shot. Nathan Strong took some hits. Yeah, and I bet you know what he's talking about. Probably played this game a lot. No! Fire! Oh, so... 
Ah, scary. Just don't know when they're gonna fire up. You don't know if you're gonna hit them with your bomb or not. Just a random chance. Ah. Because <laughs> you can only go so far right on the screen. That is the limit right there. Where is it? This game is pretty amazing. Wow, this is, this is level. Holy oh, yeah, now it's time for the maze. Just stay as far to the right as possible to give you as much time. And then you go as far to the right again and go back. Oh my god. This far is far to the right. Holy fuck. Oh! oh. Ah! Start you in the middle, it's too crazy. I suppose you need to hop over three or four mountains. They still figuring out some tactics to do this one. That's good, man. Some tips. Yes. Whatever we need to do. Yeah. Whoa. What? This is 99 bases. 99 bases, yeah, I can't get one. I made it to one, but I didn't watch me destroy it. Get to level two. <laughs> this is the goal. If I can get to level, level two, two. You made it level two before. Don't get me to level three. <laughs> what you've always dreamed of. I woke up this morning and I was like, do you think I can make it to level two? Scramble! Dreaming about it. This is all I can. That's a line from what they're It's not Boogie Nights. Ah, so, uh, maybe I have to see. That's okay. No, I'm full of movie references. I was talking to my colleagues today about movies, and it was reaching a point where they were like, what Because I was just, people were like going on, and I was like, I've wasted a lot. Would you say it's wasted? No, I wouldn't say it's wasted. But I, I always say that. To it's sort like of, an education. It's like self-deprecation is part of the shtick. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I just have to stop doing that, you know? I think yeah. if I owned it, I was like, yeah, I know lots of movies. Then I'd feel like arrogant. I don't know. It's true. You there's, can't there's win. A, well, those are two extremes yeah, yeah. that you're going at That's there. That's a good point. It's Maybe like, I, yeah, I've seen a lot of movies. What of it? <laughs> I just, I, like, I, I, I jump from, like, <laughs> just still. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I did waste a lot of my the, youth <laughs> staying indoors in the dark. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's one or another. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I really need to do, like, a, a fill in my gaps of like all of the movies that I should have seen and everyone seen and everyone loves. What are what are one of those? Well, there's one, Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights is that one. Uh, there's another one mentioned the other day as well. I realize I just have to not die. That's what I always forget about this, this game. Is, this game is don't it's die. Just a, yeah, because at first I was trying to like, I don't know. Because there's definitely enough fuel that you accidentally get. There you go, you made it. Damn, man. Oh, oh, I'm going to try this thing. The oh, ship is saying. Oh. oh, see, there you go. I don't think it's... I don't think it's... It's not my... It's not, not my tactics. Yeah, I don't think that. Yeah. It's just more room. Like, you can go up or down. I don't know. i got to find some serious zen. Right oh, yeah. This is, this is like... This is some focus. focus. I'm going to find some balance between those extremes, James. That's be my goal. <laughs> Self-deprecation yes. and arrogance. <laughs> It's not the only two options. No, it is not. No. Gas pedal doesn't have to be on. For a long time, I didn't watch uh, Titanic. And that was a really <coughs> Yeah. Titanic. Uh, and then I saw it, and I was like, it was a lot of cultural references that I got. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's the thing. That The thing. There's the the, the critique of the co totally two people could fit on that raft. Yeah. This is where it sketched me like your French girls came from. You know, like. But, but if cultural references are the only benefit you're getting from oh, watching a film, it's not good. No, it's not and good. It, and it wasn't. It wasn't a good movie. And it's I'd three say. hours, man. People don't. People forget. I mean, it's a technically amazing movie. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. 17, 450. I gotta kill what the base. What are some movies, guys, on, that, in the chat that are everyone that, has seen, but for whatever reason you haven't? Yes. And you're sort of putting off. 
or, or just avoid it or couldn't, can't see now because you don't like watching movies on your own. Which, which, I don't mind watching movies, yeah. actually. But I, after everyone's seen a big movie, they don't want to see it again. They'll be totally. like, nah, I've seen it. And there's also it's that like, feeling well, of like, it's been built up. People oh, have talked about yeah. it so much that you almost, it's almost like a point of pride that you haven't seen. You're like, oh, well, somehow I managed to not. Unless it's Star Wars Episode One, uh, or or another equivalent bad yeah. movie. Uh, I don't know if we should take pride in not seeing a good movie. There's a lot of like obscure kind of oh, boring yes. ones, but that yes. doesn't count. No, I'm talking more Hollywood stuff. Like that, like, that made a lot of money and everyone saw it. When it came out. Like a. My my big one that was a huge embarrassment for many years was Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh yeah, you can see. Which I which I only saw like six or seven years ago, but I did see it in the theater. <laughs> and it was oh, there's also the danger of seeing an old film that doesn't hold up. Oh yeah, definitely. Right? And you're like, well, maybe I should have seen this when I was a kid, when it was the right time to see it. My colleague was going on about how her favorite movie is Dark Crystal, and I'm like, I think you're just remembering like that as because like we pulled oh, up a YouTube good. clip of it, and it's it's goofy. It's very, oh. it's amazing, but it's goofy. It doesn't. I think if you showed a kid in 2018 Dark Crystal, you'd be like, whoa, well, what is this? There's some. Oh, I, I might it's still good. I might have just put her. But uh, maybe that's nostalgic. You have to be careful of that. That's the thing. Like, is it good? Or do you just Remember, think it's like, good? It's also, that's the whole thing. Is like, everyone remembered you. If you remember being eight, who wouldn't want to remember being eight? You know <laughs> yes. what I mean? And that's where, like, that's where that nostalgia thing is really crazy. Because, you know... You know, not not to not to get into politics. I'm not going to get into that at all. But that's that thing about the Make America Great Again. It's like, what are you remembering? Are you remembering <laughs> being eight? Because of course it was better. Everything but, was great, but, great you, when you know, you're a kid. We're living yep. in 2018, so you know, and that's a, but a lot of marketing now is nostalgia. And great for who? Yeah. Great for, I mean, yeah. Was it great for everyone in the 1950s? You know, I argue. Let's, let's look at some more. Anyways, yeah, no, politics done. Yeah. Uh, but but what I mean is it's all of that is crazy. Yeah, looking through rose-colored glasses is a dangerous thing, and you have to be aware of it at all times. And but Raiders of the Lost Ark, it, it was badass. Badass. I know this held Nazis up, held up completely. There's the, the there. visual effect or the the special effects are amazing in it still. Like totally awesome. People, totally awesome. People Great storyline. We came here for the game. <laughs> Not the stupid movies you guys talk about all the time. <laughs> Shut up about your movies. Well, we're <laughs> playing a game. That so much what? Oh, God. How did I die there? That's the end of that part. Game's good, man. Oh my God! Yes. I'm watching Year Techniques help a lot. It's astonishing how much watching a game helps. Oh yeah. Um, yeah especially yeah. someone who's good at it, because you're like, oh, that's what. Someone's doing because if I had to invent all of these techniques on my own, rip. Oh yeah. Well, you just kind of learn them. James, I mean, I'm standing on the shoulder of giants. Yeah, uh, mm, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm not doing amazing. Precise Eight, there. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, right. <laughs> nine mm. That's our goal. Well, I made it through the. Made it through that. Okay, Tire. now it's time to bomb. I got oh. it! Yeah. Congratulations! You completed your duties. <laughs> your duty. What? I didn't even get to read that. Better luck next time? Or what did it say? Good luck. Oh, is it the time? same idea? It, I'm sure it gets harder. But it's a similar, it seems like a similar approach, essentially. I'm sure it's the same maze, like the same. I mean, you, get, you get all your. Those are your, shooting fast. You get all your uh, uh, ships back. Um, He's got three ships, man. Yeah, I did get more. I know I got one extra. Is that 10,000? Uh, 10 and then 50 I I... is what I believe it says. time. There are my constellations. Yeah, dude. Uh, nope. Are you supposed to? You made the constellations? I, I, I said that like I knew that. But what I mean is like that's amazing. It is. I think, um... um I remember as a kid, just like, 
laying down sometimes and looking up at the stars and just being so blown away by that, you know? Oh, and, like, um, that's something that, you know... Infinity of the stars. Well, yeah, it's an image that's really quite beautiful, and I, I'm surprised that we don't. We can't see the people. Yeah, that's cause the problem. The light bulb. So a lot of kids don't get to see... Don't grow up in the outskirts of town where there's not as much light. We're so busy kind of looking at all this other stuff. Too. Looking at the, uh, the... Looking at our phones and looking at his grandpa. No, what is it? The, uh, <laughs> black, looking at the black mirror. Oh, yes, um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah we're too busy. Oh, I like went for that as if I was going to shoot it. God. A waste of a life. Dude, Orion, Ursa Major, and Thomas Yance's astrology it? sign on the left. That's cool. I love uh, it when you embed meaning into things. It makes yes. such a difference, you know? I find that with art, even if they don't know about that, that's a good thing, you know? Yeah. Even if it's never, nobody ever I learns don't... about that extra little thing you put into the game, it adds to it, and I... subliminal they know it's there. I do so many things like that with projects where I'll put something that's so meaningful to me and not tell anybody. But it's like, but then when I see it, I'm like, oh, that has... And I think that reads, even if, it it, even if you don't necessarily, you know, like conscious of that as a, as, as a game player. The fact that you put these constellations that matter instead of just a random pattern means that this is like some oh, love yeah. has been put into this. You know? Oh yeah. It's a secret ingredient to a lot of life. And it's just kind of actually making it's care. Yeah. Finding meaning in the whatever it is. Yeah, I think the rockets are going faster yeah, this it time around. To be... like going up, and they're going towards me. It's like we took a hit of coffee or something. You know I mean? It's like we got an espresso a bit, and a, a bit more. Yeah, I love these colors too. They're so colorful. It's so pretty. Yeah. And even though the movement of the building is a little jerky, um, because it has to be. Oh, not uh, to the game, not to you. The camera Dad. to the game. Sorry, you can't see it. The TV's in front of me. Uh, I guess I made it to that. So we can not kill me. See if I can make the base too. Oh, see, that's no. tight. I think move, things are moving a touch faster now. Damn it. Almost made it to base too. We should have found a way to add the uh, Star Castle arcade constellation to the game too. That would have been beautiful. Oh, it's yeah, okay yeah. though. You can't do everything. <laughs> yes. It's like at a certain point you're like, 44,000. Not bad. How can you inscrate our, invade our scramble system? Expert. This was, were, were we doing expert? No, no, we were doing like totally normal, like second one up. Okay. Expert time now. We're going for it. Is there like, um, I'm allowed to shoot as much? Yep. Or is it, like... it was, uh, those are going faster. It is moving faster. So expert, let me read this again. Rocket launches on all stages. So they're always, I think they didn't launch at first. Uh, and it has heat-seeking rockets. Enemy ships fire missiles. Hmm. Which enemy ships? I guess the ones that are, yeah, like, moving I'm up. Just like, I'm just like, don't die, <laughs> Don't die. It's all you gotta do is not die. And meteors move in more challenging patterns. This is um, a rapid-fire situation for anybody at home who wants to play this game. That is much better. Oh, yeah. Any, any game where you have to press the button like this... Just turn on the auto fire. Oh, Whoa, they are shooting. Are shooting oh, that's Rip. tough. That's Rip. a okay. tough situation. Man, that makes this level way harder. Your... Well, yeah, it's really close. Oh, so I'm, trying to, like, the wall. I'm trying to dodge. I was dodging. Like, yeah, you weren't paying yeah. attention to the, the wall. Okay, I'll read that in a sec. Some suggestions about stars or something. I suggest stars. John wasn't going to put them in, but after I suggested, he said, Oh, my kernel's already set up to put a ball on any line I want. Ah. Plus, I said the stars are supposed to twinkle, flicker, and they It is. It is very nice. It just adds that. And, and because, you know, some things are on the same line as other things, it adds naturally. Also, also, I like the it. lore of this one. Some, some lore is a like, home oh, it's just like, dude, you're trying to save the home planet. You got no fuel. Suicide mission. <laughs> that's go. Right. I'm yeah. like, that's that's the beginning of any good space opera, right there. That's right. You gotta you're steal not gonna their return. Fuel. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's you're our, in you're one our only hope. Exactly. The last shift just, available. See all this dialogue. You just say that in the first <laughs> act, and I'm in. 
it's oh, just yeah. like... <laughs> Even though it's the same each time, it's always good. It's so good. God, I have the stars. Oh yeah, the stars add so much. If it was just empty... It's the dead. And why did they disappear when you die? That's sad. <laughs> I guess they needed to clear something? Oh no. Oh, you're in the cavern. That's why. It was a transition. It makes sense it's that you can't see the stars. Oh, you hit the oh, walls! Yeah, man. <laughs> this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. You have to watch out for the walls, the, the shots, and the guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. But it's super intricate and colorful. It's great. Like, it's really, really amazing. And the number of things that are on the screen on the same line, but. Champ Games is known for that now, especially Mappy. Be able to put like tons of things on the same line and if have acceptable flicker. Oh Whoa! Oh my so god. This is maybe where the cavern is. That is maybe true. Because they do only go so low. So if you get around and stay in there. It's basically like. <laughs> hugging, hugging, ah. hugging. Guys, yep. guys. It's working. You saved my butt. It's working. Oh. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh. oh. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come you gotta on. get down there first. Oh. oh, there's rockets going up, too. <laughs> this is insanity. What? But I made it to the third level. That's pretty damn good. On expert. Gotta have the stars indeed, Nathan Strong. Do. Let's see what I can do on expert. A lot faster. that they move quicker because then they're off the screen. You don't, like, you don't have to dodge them as much. Oh. Constellation stars are the correct color. Also, Orion had a bet to something guy, which is a red giant, and Google, which is a which is binary star. Wow, that's a tension to detail. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. I mean, if you can do it, why not do it? I guess they fly up. I find they fly up. Still random. It seems that they start up quicker, like the rockets go up earlier, which is actually easier. It's in there out of your way. Oh boy. Next level. This is, oh this is this yeah, one. this is. Uh, Beetlejuice. Say his name three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <gasps> oh my god. That's, that is a movie I didn't see for the longest that's, time. That's well. a really good actor, too, the guy who. Like, Michael Keaton. Yeah. And if you forget that it's Michael Keaton, then you That's watch the it best. and you're like, I mean, he's under makeup, but um, so good. He's still, yeah, you forget it's that dude. It just then, doesn't seem like Michael Keaton. Because you see him in, you, we've seen him in all these like grounded performances yes. and whatnot, and then you forget that like he's got all these crazy chops. <laughs> like you see him in Birdman and whatnot, oh, and, and it's like you were reminded of that, like this like crazy. He's an actor. Yeah. He was also in like um, uh, the other one, which was. Yeah, that one. <laughs> right. Oh, it didn't work. I think I can. I think I can. This yeah. is insane. Oh. You gotta go down. You gotta go down now. There's just they're covering too much ground. But it's like, how Damn do you it. get back Damn down? It. You almost gotta oh. do it in the first go. Or Dude. You're done. Oh, God. I don't know. If I'm gonna make it. This is next level. <laughs> down, 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 down. Oh. In the founder, and I love that movie, Nathan. I love that movie. Oops, start over. The founder's a really good movie. Okay. Um, it's about the guy who made. Um, oh yes, he was great in that McDonald's, right? Exactly. Well, he didn't, I didn't even see that. He didn't even make McDonald's. He basically ripped it off. Yeah, but forced his way in. Forced his way in, and took then over. took over, and was basically like Sumi. And then in the end, they settled. And it's really, it's a really kind of crazy story. It is crazy. I I don't know much is truth or exaggerated or <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way, I just mean that it's a that's a lot of the kind of it's idea. A capitalist kind of kind of thing and you know, it's make like, the money any way you can. You Use the law do and do what you can to win. Yeah. That's that's the, Batman is so good too. He's a great Batman. Oh, that is that's a problem one. I didn't see that one till very late. Yeah. I did not see that when it came out and when I watched it I was like this. Well, the this well the, the last one was was the really bad one <laughs> with um uh, oh man it was I think it's it's because it was Batman Forever and then there was like Batman and Robin and that's really bad that's like hard to watch bad I, I so appreciated goofy. 
the it's aesthetics. Almost, it almost wraps around to becoming good. You know, when a movie is so silly, right. you just almost like it becomes this sort of joke. And I almost feel like that was what they were going for. Oh yeah, with Batman and Robin. But like the original Tim Burton one was very. Good. I just couldn't appreciate it. I mean, I could, I could, I. I... I love this, the look of the film, yeah. and the colors, and everything, but the acting is too campy for me. Oh, it's campy. And I mean, it's campy on purpose. See, maybe this right? is this is where my con conversation about Dark Crystals, do another one. Keep going. Yeah. My conversation about like Dark Crystals is the same, well, like, I think probably it is, but, but I just remember seeing it as a kid being so excited about that. <laughs> and, but yes, now we have like, a the huge Dark phenomenon. Night. Hey, Ground Trooper. Um, uh, yeah, have a good night, man. Yeah, We're gonna have a good see night. We'll get 99. <laughs> we'll do it right as soon as you leave. Yeah, 99 is. He <laughs> clearly apologized for having a but he did. <laughs> that's, that's where it's tough, right? Because I, I don't know if anybody. Because he's the one who suffered. No, but he means so. that, like, I don't think. I think he signed up for, like, a different movie. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think that happens. I think everybody else knew what they were doing, like that this was gonna be goofy. <laughs> but I think he was trying to. And he's a really, he's actually really good in it. Um, like he's a really good Bruce Wayne, but and, and he's got, and he has that charisma. In some ways, he's a better Bruce Wayne than like even like um, uh, uh, what's his name, the best one who's in the Dark Knight. Really? Um, oh. And just because it, Bruce Wayne has that charisma, right? Right. But I'd say that like overall, I prefer like the. Damn it! But, uh, oh yeah, they're, they're just they're way more better. serious and just. But it's cool to see like a, his version of the movie, cool. but then his bat, the Batman. Is really sad. <laughs> so, like, oh yeah, actors at some point. He must have known at some point, but it, it would have been after he signed the contract. Oh yeah. To do it. Like, Probably it was, on set as soon as they got him in that costume. It's like, 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 oh, what is happening? And that was at a time when they were not making um, superhero movies. Like, that was not a thing. Uh, like, that was now yes. it's commonplace. Yeah, yeah. Of, like, now it's all over the place. You know, now and juice stuff force in the mouth. Stuff. Yeah. Making superhero movies when they have no business making them anymore. True. Like Captain Marvel. You know? There's too yeah. many. I, I really think of like on oh, Stan Lee. Yeah. All right. Well, it's so sad. It really it feels like an end of a generation. Yes. Particularly with these Avengers movies coming to an end too, like this this next Avengers. Up, yeah. yeah, and then we'll see him in that in probably those ones. Oh yeah, all been shot. That's so it's it's sad to think that like it's, there's a weird poetry to that where it's like his last movies that he'll cameo in will be really the last of a certain genre of stuff. <laughs> oh. I think everyone's t stepping away after this Avengers you know, one. Yeah, they're yeah. doing it for decades. Yeah, <laughs> a decade. Yeah, and I mean, I grew up reading his columns in the I'm comic sure. books. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do any better. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, reading Stan Lee's uh, columns in every monthly in the comic books, those are always good. And, yeah, he's just a mainstay. He's a monster, too, as a writer. Like, he's he's yep. so creative so and came up with all this stuff. And he was married for his whole life. I think yeah. he married his high school sweetheart. Yeah, very sad in the end. Like, oh, what is happening? Sad in the end when people were trying to take advantage of him and control the money and you know, worry about any of that. Yeah. This is surprising me because nobody anticipated that level of um, financial, you know, like that those names would mean all of that. Because I think we started to see it in the early 2000s, but I don't think anyone anticipated this. Like, this is billions and billions of dollars. Yeah. Frankly, being more than by Disney for billion. More important than Star Wars is a title for sure. I think we thought Star Wars would be more important, but it really isn't. No, it's not. People care way more about the Marvel stuff. So. And from a studio perspective, that is the place which you can bank on. Those movies are making money. Yes. And they're about they the are. only movies we know now that will make money. I mean, everything yeah. else is still random. Like, you put the rock and then like you know you'll, you'll probably yeah, you'll do pretty well you'll probably make the money yeah i think we're done with this the hard, oh. expert is hard oh my god so it definitely ramps up to a level that is going to challenge you if you find the other levels oh too easy god. that's for sure um definite buy if you like Hell shooters yeah, man. this is a great game it is really really good and i did i did complete it that's what i wanted to do in this episode is complete at least one run through i was so close in the other game so close 
Um, but this one I did. And because it's it, the other one's 10 levels. This one's only five. Oh, wow. So it's double. And it's harder, Damn, too. Really? It is a lot harder. Um, <clears throat> so next week, next or this Friday, in two days, is the end of the month. So it is the homebrew tournament challenge. And we're going to be doing two, Juno first, which is a um, head-on shooter kind of kind of shooting up but it's like a three quarters perspective straight on perspective really fun game pretty hard i don't know how i'll do i do pretty good in shooters like that yeah but so do other people <laughs> so that's going to be a big challenge but so you can tune in 6 p.m uh on friday darcy is not here there's too much going on it is the christmas season it's, so yeah. i want to thank everybody for tuning in because this is a crazy making, time of year. Making your choice of entertainment, us. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, is a crazy time of year. And there's a lot going on. And it's every only going to get crazier. It Honestly, is. it's going to get nuts. So We have tons of people. Thank you all for hanging yeah. out today. Mr. Fix, Ground Trooper, Ice Boaster, Nathan Strom. Um, Gretums. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, and S. Ramir Wade Ramirez. Rain. Wade Rain. Atari Spot. Uh, Nano Chess. Yeah, man. And there was a new one that I didn't recognize. Yeah, there was. was talking Did about I miss something. it? What there was... we go. Uh, Nurin Dare. Yeah, who wanted some Sydney Hunter. Sydney Hunter. Thanks, dude. Which is a homebrew, so he's on target. He knows what's going on. Yep. Uh, maybe when we get into the Coleco and in television, we're able to uh, throw some of that in there. That's a good idea, man. Um, and also John. Johnny, WC23, with John Champeau, whose game we just it's played. amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'll switch it over to the big screen. There we go. Um, and anybody else that we missed, I think we cut, oh, Tiki Dan K, that's right, who jumped in for a bit. Tiki oh, Dan. who sent me a video Ooh. that I watched that I cannot show. I was going to say. Of the new game that he's working on, and that he's getting closer and, and closer. Yep, uh, Gold Rush. Um, and it is looking primo, really, really good. I'm really amazed at what he's doing. And he's doing it as well, all bear code no extra chip it's all uh original hardware 2600 um so he's he's doing some magic he's bringing wow. the magic from all, everything he learned in the 80s bringing it up to date working with activision and uh applying it to new games that he's going to put out yeah. so that is that is some that's going to be a lot of fun and we have the exclusive here on zero page homebrew so that is going to be super fun and thank you for watching mr fix he Thanks, says thank man. you for scre uh, streaming not screaming but streaming and god night <laughs> it is a it, it is. is a god night i supposed to <laughs> um and uh Thanks, Nathan, for, uh, you know, contributing to all these amazing games, your amazing graphics so talent, much. and making them look so good. Like, look at those graphics that's on the that's screen unreal. there. Um, he says, thanks for the show, guys. Glad you enjoyed the games. We're shooting for a spring release of Aardvark. So pretty soon. I love couple that, months, man. That'll be in my hands. We're going to be hopefully doing um, an exclusive um, show on the final version of Aardvark when it's done. Hope uh, I'll talk to Nano Chess about that. And so we can sell some games for you guys. Show show off uh, what they've done. I mean, it's going to be pretty close to the demo, but it's going to be all the options that we can play. So uh, that's it for now. You know what's happening on Let's Friday. Let's run through the games real quick before we, before oh, we end. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like the first game we played, what was that one called? That's I don't right. remember. Um, it was Castle of the Cryptid. I mean, his first effort. He just put it out. I mean, the potential is insane. That was a lot of fun. And, yep. and I'm sure, hopefully, watching us play, you get a sense of the sort of stuff that we're doing. Even if we say nothing and you just sort of watch somebody play your game, hopefully that big, gives you some ideas of, like... I've, I've heard people say that's a big help. Just watching what somebody else does with the game and yeah. how they control the character, what works, what doesn't, what they try and do. Um, yeah, I mean... I think our only suggestion was like slow it down a bit, and I mean it's just the first out. I'm well, not going to follow say your instinct, man. Yeah. Like whatever. It's, I think <clears throat> with these proof of concepts, it's what's clear is that you're onto something. So oh, just keep yeah. going there. I don't know what where you're going, but keep going there. And I'd love. I guess we'd love to play an updated version. That's always yeah. fun to see the iterations. I'll definitely be watching that one for um, new versions when they come out. And it looks great, and it's a oh, classic yeah. concept. And he's got the controls under control, like the different moves, like the, the dashing options. and jumping. It's not really a cool. lot of games that do that in the 2600. And then you add some level design and some new elements. Oh, yeah. I think he was saying he, he's, he's going to do some stuff. It's going to yep. be great. 
either a random level design, which is cool, and he's going to be working on a a level designer program. Ooh. So maybe he's going to put that out to the public and people can make levels. That oh, would be cool. I love the sounds of that. Yeah. That would be a really interesting option. Uh, second one, Aardvark. We've seen it before. We know it. We love it. Um, the graphics, the sound, everything play perfect. Oh, it's amazing we game. Didn't find it's hard bugs. to. I, I don't think it's like a work in progress. It no. feels done. Feels like, done. I can't imagine like if if that's if that's what you got. Yeah. I'm sure you want to refine it, and it's yeah. just like there's also I know with a big creative project you've been working on for a long time, you want it to be perfect. Um, yeah. and, uh, I think and the I, difficulty level was just right. It was great. We you know, were both doing pretty good. We're getting into the levels. We're understanding uh, the tactics that we need. Yeah, man. Yeah. It might be time to let go and say it's done. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't it's know what close. else. I mean, you know. Maybe yeah, there's they know some what stuff they that you want to do different. Some but from, from our, our perspective, oh. I got nothing to say but good things. And Yeah, it was uh, great. I could play that game all day. I wish that I had got a better score. I wish, yeah. you know. We is it was a, that was a really fun one. But the uh, the controls were great. I didn't have any problems oh, definitely. with them anymore. I remember earlier versions. And I'd love to was... try it on like a like a like a controller. See how that feels. Some other you know. I think some... you would like that better. I don't know. It'd be interesting to try it. It might be better. It might be worse. Joystick was fun. I don't we'll know. Throw that in next time we play. We'll, cool. Uh, we'll do a game pad. And see I know how you that... like the game pad. Yeah. So. Uh, Lost Dungeon Quest of Apshai. Oh, such a cool progression, man. I've yeah. had a lot of fun with that one. I I've, think it just needs more. It needs a little bit of a push. If, just, you, if you put the projectiles in. Some projectiles. Yep. Have the potions or things yep. drop from the people. That's yes. the cool thing. Because it appears randomly on the screen, but it'd be awesome if when you kill someone, there's a chance that they'll drop the thing. You feel rewarded yeah. for killing it. Yes. I mean, I understand, though, your tactic of kind of um, uh, the issue with that is that you'll always get it. It's true. But um, it, then make it bonuses. Yeah. Not not the power, not the uh, not the life, not bring the ba back yeah. to life, but just bonuses. Something. Maybe your sword gets longer, or yeah. it'd be nice to have some experience points. It would just be good to feel like I'm evolving. It's amazing how just, yeah. a, we're, as I said, we're so dumb. <laughs> if you just literally add some numbers that are meaningless oh my god i'm level five like for whatever reason yeah. i i enjoy your game more if i'm level five and it's stupid because i shouldn't mm -hmm. I, it should make no difference but i'm like ooh, that just makes me want to i want to turn to level six and maybe th right. maybe i get like a little bit extra health like i get five extra health each or something stupid like that you know yeah start off with lower health get some build up so you get higher health so you yeah. So it doesn't get as low, you know, things like that. Maybe and you get more. You get more power. So then, when you get like the smaller ones, you know, like whatever you, just you want to destroy things with one hit. Yeah, so. you wreck the rats <laughs> slash cats, <laughs> right. but like you. And of course, scramble. It's a great, amazing, game, man. Really obviously good. impeccable game. Um, very challenging. Yeah. So it has a lot of tons of replay value, um, especially with the different levels that you can pick. Um, Champ games always classic games. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this that's week. It. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We'll be around next week, I believe. Yeah. You said you weren't going to be. Are you going to well, be? Well, because you said that, like... Um, for next Wednesday? Yeah. Are you going to be here? I could probably do next Wednesday. <laughs> well, now that stuff has changed. Oh, stuff has changed. Right. Excellent. Remember I told you that, like... Oh, uh, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, because I remember you couldn't. Now you can. Awesome. Mm. So I'll find some games for next Wednesday for us to chomp on i think i've got a couple that i've been thinking of but i'll scour the forums and if anybody has suggestions for games we have not played yet on the show or games that have been updated a lot since we have played them just drop me a message anywhere um in facebook instagram youtube i don't really like twitch messaging but you can message me there uh atari age forums is probably the best um because it has a nice uh nice messaging system and you can uh, just send me a link there um yeah give just uh, drop me a line see what games uh tell me what games you want to see on the show and we'll be back on friday 6 p.m pacific time 9 p.m eastern time That's right. for juno first and maybe a couple other games to throw in we'll see we'll see might dedicate the whole show to juno first getting a high score so we're out of here, and we will see you in two days and see this guy in a week. Yeah, see you see soon. See you then. Bye-bye.